Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Oni. And it's been a minute, and I don't quite remember where we were up to. But we've basically got a somewhat early game colony going. Relatively cleanly. Starvation, Veldak. We've got uh, 314,000 calories, so... It's not that the colony is running out of food, but a couple of times I've had... Uh, a couple of times I've had duplicants running low on calories. 997 calories before starving. One thousand, so almost a day before Veldak starves to death. Uh, Veldak, I hope... I hope you will pay the... Uh, the mess hall a visit today. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. What are we printing? Um, skills is not what I was looking for, actually. We're not printing anything yet. Not for 1.1 cycles. Uh, Cavern has a lot of skill points to spend, but not that much morale to spare. I guess we're still plus three if I give him maximum building. That's probably fine, right? Plus three? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, this would be plus zero. I'm not entirely comfortable with that. Carenza is plus five, but out of... Out of uh, skills that he's passionate about. But I guess we can definitely go for suit wearing. That's good. Athletics and suit wearing. I don't really want to go beyond that plus three threshold. So we'll wait on Matrim. Uh, we'll wait on Sloda. We'll wait on... not Veldak. This one's free. Veldak can do advanced research. And field research. Fantastic. I don't want... I want him to prioritize the things only Veldak can do, though. So... Schedule? No. Priorities? Veldak... Cooking, doctoring, and then researching. That's actually perfect. Alright. And who else? Whiskers is plus four. But... We're gonna go... Minus two, at least, with anything that I'd want to give him. A evil plur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And come to think of it, uh, as is often the case, I've forgotten to change the channel rewards for the different game. Um, I hope there's a way I can automate this. I haven't seen it so far. Where are we going? Uh, dashboard. So what were we up to in the game, anyway? We've got Rock Crusher, Metal Refinery Kiln. I don't think we have any plastic. We have dug down to the oil. People are occasionally getting scalded down here. That's why I'm trying to drain the oil down to here. We've explored pretty far to the right side, actually. And up above, I don't suppose we're getting close to space. I don't remember how I can zoom out so I can see a bit more, but... Uh, yeah, we're actually getting pretty close. I can only scroll up, like, another screen, if that... And then over here, that's a lot of iron. There's quite a bit more we could find over the left side, I think. Hey, Veldak? 
Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, let me just fix this real quick. Channel points. Uh, no name in base. And the rest is fine, I think. Fantastic. Alright, so where are we going now? I do know we've got a bunch of work queued up that I'm still waiting on, so maybe I'll just let things run and, until something catches my eye. We're still digging up, yes, fantastic. Um, we can just keep going straight up here. Nice. Oh yeah, we have our electrolysis happening, which is providing possibly all of the oxygen. I've actually, I remember now, I got rid of the uh, oxygen diffuser. We only had one left. And we're going to see if this isn't enough to keep the whole colony in oxygen uh, for the foreseeable future. It also gives us hydrogen, but... Uh, the hydrogen basically just discounts how much it costs to run this thing power-wise. And we made ourselves a generator room. Plenty of room for expansion there. Should probably get rid of this polluted water next. I kind of broke the pipe that was running it away. Oh, I see. Let's get rid of this. In fact, we can get rid of all of this. If I'm going to drain polluted water back here again, it's probably going to be a pipe running up this way. We got our lovely cool brine, keeping the temperature manageable flowing through the base, also being our water supply. Um, oh, that's what I wanted next. I want some... who's getting scalded? Sloda is getting much more scalded than expected. Okay, I think it's time to get ourselves a doctor's office. How much heat is generated here? It's actually looking okay. Could probably put the doctor's office here. Or the hospital, rather. Um, based on previous runs, I think rather than like a one to one ratio of medical cots, where is it? Medicine? Triage cot. I think I want mostly triage cots. A hospital has to have. Let's see. Medical equipment, toilet, mess table. I think we can probably get away with just the one toilet, the one mess table. Uh, and then... Mostly cots. And we could have a... I don't think we have it yet. Um, where's the research? Power, solid, calling, medicine. Here we go. Uh, sick bay. We never got a, we never got the materials to take advantage of this before, but we could have just one sick bay, I think, probably. And uh, mostly cots and one of each of the other things. So how far can we go here? Can we get our usual sixty-four tiles? We can. I think we'll go for that. Cancel this for now. Or rather, cancel this so that we can reach. And I was thinking something like... Uh, where is it? 
triage cot times four, even. Sink. Uh, what am I looking for? Plumbing. Uh, lav lavatory. We also need a mess table and what else was it? Mess table... Toilet, medical equipment. So really just a mess table. Um, could we make better use of this space? We could make it slightly more compact vertically. Maximum 96 tiles. Is that what we're doing over here or is this 64? This is 96 actually. Um, I would kind of like to use 96 over here. But actually, I would like to... Well, how big is this building? We can't really see. I, I'm guessing it's three units tall. Apothecary might be taller. Apothecary doesn't have to go in the hospital, though. Uh, if we had 96 tiles... 96. Then we'd be looking at. Oops. Plumbing, lavatory, uh, medicine, sink, triage cots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And mess table could fit over here right next to the sink and toilet. That sounds nice. I mean, something's going to be next to the sink and toilet. Uh, how about... this? Mess table is under food, I think. No, it's not. Where is mess table? Medicine? No. Stations? No. Furniture? Furniture. Mess table. And then we'll have a flower pot right about here. Can I fit... I could fit hanging pots. Uh, make it look a bit nicer. I don't know what else I would want to put in here. That should be more than enough decor. Wait, the hanging pots cost metal? Seriously? Well, whatever the case. Uh, I'm just going to cancel these until we've done the digging. And probably have to put a piece of ladder or two over here. To make sure that gets done. I'm thinking I should also run some air purifiers around here before we flush the whole thing out properly. All right, but that's definitely where I want the mess table. Uh, I guess we could maybe remove one of the cots later. Or we'll just leave a space. We'll have like, f what, five cots? Four or five cots? And we'll leave room for the medical... Uh, something or other? The sick bay. We'll leave room for that somewhere. Fantastic. So that's 96. Seems good. Do we need power for anything? Uh, we don't need power for the sink or toilet. We don't need power for the triage cot or the table. 
Um, does the sick bay need any power? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think it's all unpowered, weirdly enough. That is a whole lot of chlorine that's not really supposed to be there. Oh well. How's our digging going? Not so great. Uh, could I maybe... Have the dupes come over here and dig this out and hopefully this flows down to here? How's everyone's health right now? Sloder is on 39, that terrifies me. Sloder, where are you? Heading down from above, okay. Let's get this first cot made as quickly as possible, actually. Um, so... Medicine, triage cot. And I think we can go ahead and get this one done. Nope, they're going to do it in the wrong order. They're not going to be able to reach that, are they? Oh, yes they are. Fantastic. Triage cot. High priority. Fantastic. I should definitely get some air purifiers sooner rather than later. Some deodorizers around here. Where should I connect power? Oh, that's convenient. Let's just use that for the moment. And I should probably bump the priority on that a little bit. What are we printing? What is that? Eight Paku. Uh, I wish I was prepared to put them somewhere. I, I don't think we can take this right now. I'll just take the spicy tofu. Otherwise, they'll just be flapping around on the floor for 700 cycles and... I'm going to feel a little bit bad about that. Just a tad. Alright, uh, Sloda, get in here. And make it so that anyone who's hurt can use the triage cot. Also, very high priority. Did Sloda not come here because it's time to sleep? Is this everyone? This is everyone. Nope, slowed is there. That's good. Does this count as sleeping or no? Well, there's already polluted oxygen over here. I guess, uh... I guess we'll add another one. So the one person who was in danger of scolding himself to death is going to be okay. That's the main thing. And can we please get this supplied?
I wish you could set the priority of something once it's built, before it's built, if that makes sense. Uh, why don't... Does this sit on a ladder? I don't think it does. Let's find out. It does not sit on a ladder. There we go. Get that air nice and clean. Maybe I should have a system whereby the polluted oxygen will always find itself, uh, find its way to the very top of the base. So if we have uh, airflow tiles up at the corners near the doors. Unless it's a room that's supposed to be sealed uh, for gas, of course. Yeah, we could ha maybe have airflow tiles like this. And that way the polluted oxygen would always find its way to the top, out of the way of the dupes, but also we could get it all cleaned up with just one or two odor uh, deodorizers. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Oh, it requires metal as well? Really? Alright, airflow tile, iron ore... Get rid of this. Uh, any more? Yes. 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 I don't like that it has decor minus five. How dare you? What are you going to do? And over here... Maybe I should just have the doors up the top, as silly as that would look. Sloder's almost healed. Let's put down... Are they all just plus 25? Like, are all of the... Are all of the uh, decor plants effectively the same? Let's see. Briar seed? Uh, briar, rather? Doesn't say... I think they're all effectively the same. Buddy bud? Buddy bud. That's cute. Yeah, I think they're all effectively just the same. My trim is getting scalded. Oh, good, good choice building this piece of ladder first. Oh my goodness. Yeah, good, good, good job. Could you stop congratulating yourself and get out of the scalding hot crude oil, please? Thank you. I guess we need another triage cot already. Uh, let's put that one out here. They have different temperature ranges. Yeah, I did notice that. Uh, Def in it. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Buddy bed is nice because it emits floral scent, which is an additional morale bonus. Really? Floral scent. 5,000 germs. 
Uh, I don't remember if we have anyone who's allergic. That might be a bit bad in the hospital. Um, am I going to have to go through them all individually and check? Where do I even... Uh, what's the best place to look at all of their properties, all the duplicates? Says germs, but it's actually a positive. Nice. Where can I look at the same stuff that I looked at when I picked them? Or do I just have to select them all one by one? And go into what? Bio traits. Here we go. I don't see any problem here for Kevin. Whiskers. Uh, Benboy. By the way, are you guys able to hear something in the background or is it filtered out? You can let it be, it's not a big deal. I mean, I can still play around it. Carenza? Seems good. Evil Pla. Seem anemic? No, that's fine. Uh, what was this? Evil Pla. Veldak. Can't hear anything. Probably filtered. Fantastic. Thanks for letting me know. Thonion, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If it's the break dumb sounds. Break dumb sounds? What? Break dumb sounds. Drum. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, something happening IRL in the background, but uh, from my own experience and from what I've seen happen with other people, usually when someone recording stuff on the internet says, can you guys hear that? It's like nothing. I just wanted to make sure. All right, I think we're probably fine to have the florals sent in uh, in the hospital. Is this Oxy game? Yes, indeed. RPHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's heal my trim just to be safe. Did we already get rid of all the polluted oxygen? I think we probably did. And even if we didn't, it's going to float to the top. Let's get rid of all that. And start putting in... Lavatory? Lav lavatory? I don't, I don't know why I keep saying lavatory. Like it's a lab. We'll need to get some pipes in place to support this. I was going to say I haven't really left this in a good spot, but we'll be able to jump over this because we're not using this pipe. And we'll replace that where and when we need to. Won't worry about where it is for now. Uh, so, water bridge. We need polluted water to connect to here. And regular water. I could have the regular water that we later add from the brine. From electrolysis after desalinating. Or that we don't send to electrolysis after desalinating. Uh, straight into this, but the main thing is that we have some kind of smart control so that we don't overfill it. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. 
when we try to cycle other things in, like polluted water. And... But for now, I think, regardless, I just want um, to get this working. So we'll have... Bottom tile is water, one above that is polluted water. Polluted water goes this way. Regular water goes this way. And I guess this pipe is staying, actually. I'll get rid of this just to be sure, so we don't get weird corner stuff, and this, we're not going to be able to put a water bridge here actually, I could do it through the floor, that seems okay. So we're going to get rid of this, and polluted water. I don't particularly want the polluted water pipe. I guess we already have a pipe here. I was going to say I don't particularly want it running through the nature reserve, but I guess it's already, we've already got something doing that. Uh, let's just skip over this tile, and polluted water is going to go through here. Pipe spaghetti. Much regretty. It's probably fine. For some reason, dupes don't hate the look of pipes everywhere, no matter how many of them you have, even though they abhor the look of uh, wires. That's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. Can we hurry up on the deconstruction? And you know what? Hurry up on the construction for that matter. Fantastic. You could say you... you're decorating the room with pipes, right? I guess the, uh... yeah, I actually like this idea even more, having the airflow tiles everywhere, because we're not going to need any more of these vents to get oxygen to the rest of the base. Is this still polluted, or is it just less oxygen? I think it's... I don't know why it's brownish, actually. Oxygen... 1248, 1229 grams. There's more floral scent over here. I see some polluted oxygen down here, actually. That's I don't think that's the whole story. Do you have an allergic dupe? I do not. I checked. Oh, we can build this now. Uh, lavatory? Lavatory, rather. And sink. And this pipe goes here. And hurry up and build it. So that we can call this a hospital. Also, we should probably sweep. That's a lot of sweeping we need to do. It's kind of true all over the place. And 
it is now a hospital, even though we don't have a sink. The hospital lavatory doesn't need to be functional, lol. Well, it's gonna be. I think people will use it if there's no other option. Actually, you know what? Oh. Crap. I was gonna say make this piece of pipe lower priority so that this gets done first. So that no one uses this when they can't wash their hands. Uh, I guess we can just make this pipe here. Oh, no one can reach this pipe. Yeah, it's not gonna get done. Unless... Unless what? Without removing the beds, I'm going to have to remove these two tiles temporarily. And we'll put some ladder tiles across like so. And I think the dupes will be able to jump across these. Yes. Cool. We've got our sink. For hospital, I just build that ugly starter toilet and disable it. Oh my goodness. Lovely min-maxing. What's this? Nope, it's fine. Alright, we have, we have our extra toilet just in case. Let's remove the ladders. And add in airflow tile. Seems good. Alright, can we get this uh, crude oil flowing down and get it out of the way? That would be nice. So the whole place is hot, right? Yeah. It's just that the crude oil transfers the heat to the dupes. What is diamond good for? It can be eaten by radiant bugs. Okay. What else? It is very difficult to excavate. Hardness 250. Nearly impenetrable. Decor plus 100%. Overheat temperature plus 200 degrees. Uh, but I'm guessing we can't make a lot of things out of it. I think I heard the printables sound. Melting point? Indeed. Briar seed, sure. We're not taking more dupes. Oh, and we have magma. The heat from the magma makes this look like a cool... Like a cold shower. You know what? It's so easy to make these triage cots. I will just remove one when we can change it. Alright, so we got almost 300k calories. We got water, we got food, we got oxygen. We've got a way to get refined metal. We've got a way to sink the heat. Uh, things are going pretty smoothly. Mm. 
You can use diamond temp shift plate to extract heat from that magma without it melting. Wow. Oh, we got it. We got the digging done. But like I feared, I, I think the crude oil is mostly going to stick up here. Um, maybe not as much as I thought. I guess, hmm, is there a universe where I just mop this? I guess there's no harm in it. How is this polluted water? 31.8 grams polluted water. That's kind of weird. Alright, is it done draining insofar as it's going to? I guess so. Let's see if we can mop this up so that it won't spill down when we dig down this way. What is this? Storage unavailable. Abyssalite. Well, um, what does it come under? Miscellaneous? There we go. How much metal do we have? We've got 20 tons of iron, 20 tons of gold amalgam, less than 3 tons of copper ore. It's not too bad. I was hoping to exploit lead as refined metal that we don't have to refine, but it's kind of... It's more difficult to get at it than it was last time. Bonk? That liquid is happy to see you? Wait, what? Where is it? That liquid is happy to see you. Oh. Oh. I think I understand and I hope I don't. We got a sick bay. Actually, I didn't realize how quickly we would have that researched. Um, can we not copy settings from these? I guess not. Always high priority, always allowed to heal as soon as you're damaged. Or, no, they'll, they'll heal until they're full health. I think that's also how that works. I don't know. I remember it. A duplicate may not use this cut until their health falls below 100%. Yeah, I wanted them to get themselves healed as soon as possible. But they wouldn't automatically do it until their health was low. Unfortunate. Alright, let's get ourselves a sick bay. And we can now do hand sanitizer. We need bleach stone for it though. Uh, well, we've got a little bit. 70 grams of bleach stone per use, that's going to use up all of our bleach stone in like five seconds. Sleeping heals for 25 hit points. That's more than I would have expected.
Is anyone ever going to muck this up? Where are you going? Alright, here we go. And we're already not getting scalded, that's good. Alright, so can we dig down here with our crude oil flowing into where we're going? Good job. Should probably get rid of this water so they don't stop to take it, to, to shake off their feet every time they come through here. There we go. Nice. Uh, and I was gonna put some decor in here as well. Furniture? Seems good. I guess since we have the airflow tile and pneumatic door, the uh, floral scent should find its way into the rest of the base as well, more or less. If we just put a bunch of uh, buddy buds here, is that gonna... I'm sure it's probably less effective than if we dot them around the base, but I would imagine it's gonna find its way out quite a bit. I'm guessing it works as germs because oxygen not included can only have one gas in a tile. They're taking their sweet time. Apothecary? Where should I put it? I could put it right under the hospital, that makes sense. How do you feel, how do you deal with germs? Well, we've got a whole lot of germs in the water supply, but... But... Oh, the numbers are going down a lot. Yeah, we've got... Uh, that's why we have this chlorine here. For some reason, chlorine gas above the water, if the water's full of germs, uh, kills the germs. And why is it going back up? Are we getting polluted water back in? No? Well, uh, 7,000 might sound like a lot, but it's down from like over 100,000 or maybe 200,000 from before. Um... The germs are slowly dying in our water supply. That's why we set up this airlock, and that's why we have these weird water things, which are much, much, much more effective than anything sense-making that you can build at being an airlock. Um, you just have this glob of water that doesn't quite make sense, and the dupes step through it. Occasionally they'll shake their feet when they come out, but uh, if you try to build a system that's like a mechanical, technological airlock, it requires a whole lot of stuff and constantly pumping gas out to make it work. Whereas this is just zero power, practically zero resources. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space either. But yeah, this is why we have 
um, chlorine in here to slowly kill all the germs. Floral germs are antiseptic, really? Can only be one germ per tile, so floral scent is also protective against other germs. That's pretty good. How many more do we have? Six. Let's fill this room with uh, buddy bud seeds. I also feel weird about these liquid airlocks, right? So far, we've only got them in a room where there's water anyway, so it's... You could almost squint and look away and pretend you don't see it. What is this vent for? I guess... I was going to say, I guess it was going to be connected to this, but that doesn't quite make sense. Oh, I think that was from before when we were, were pumping stuff out of this room. A snot of water with the size of a person, right? I almost thought the dupes were supposed to be really tiny because of the way fluids behave in oxygen not included, but... Then you look at the scale of, like, how much a tile is, and how much they eat and stuff, and it's just a huge amount. I wonder how that would feel in real life. Odd. Oh, there is a oxygen diffuser still. Let's get rid of it. Uh, I want to confirm... Oh, there's another one over here, even. I want to confirm whether whether our base is able to be sustained on oxygen just coming from the electrolyzers. I haven't seen anyone running on these manual generators, uh, so as far as I know, this has been running itself. Sick bay. Insufficient resources, doctor station, medical supplies. Okay. Germ overlay is F9. Yeah, that floral scent is creeping its way through the base. Pretty quickly, actually. Oh, we missed some slime. Let's get rid of it. Oh, didn't even need to prioritize. And yet, this is taking forever? Why do you come down to dig one tile? Uh... Well, at least Kevin has a better work ethic. We got some fossils and iron, and now we're going to get some lead. And I definitely want to keep track of how much of that we have. 8.4 tons already? Wait, what? Really? Why game does not teach you that? So just having chlorine over the water kills germs in the water. Yeah, uh... The game doesn't teach you a lot of things. That's why running it blind is such a... It's kind of a weird challenge, to be honest. This is, from what I'm understanding, very much a wiki game. But then, for the most part, if I'm not figuring out things myself, I don't really see the point. Like, if you played Factorio, and all you ever did was grabbed other people's blueprints? For literally everything? Oh. Oh, is this what I think it is? 
This took us so much longer to find last time. Reception desk. My pens. We've read this one. I'd like to remind staff not to use the CC all function for intra-office issues. To whomever is stealing the glitter pens off my desk, consider this your last warning. We got a print. Uh, I guess we could take Oxalite, but no. We've got, like... We've got... We've literally got infinite oxygen now. That is one thing that we're completely on top of. I would like to dig up to space so that instead of running a carbon skimmer, we can just send carbon dioxide to the void. Wiki or YouTube videos or Reddit, I learned a lot from Reddit. Fair enough. The floral scent creeps across the entire base. And it is glorious. Oh, it's already all the way over here. So it seems to be going horizontally quicker than it's going vertically. I never actually got a fertilizer going. I think we need a machine that spits out natural gas to do that. And I haven't wanted to... It also consumes something we're going to run out of. Um, but I haven't wanted to deal with that just yet. Hot tub. 240 watts isn't that much. Morale plus 5. Maybe we should make a hot tub. Water must be a comfortable temperature and will cool rapidly. Huh. Minimum water temperature 37 points. Wait, are you telling me this is a heat sink? Is this... Is this the magic heat sink that you can get before you even get a uh, steam engine going? We do need wood to make it happen and we don't have any on this save. I think we actually do have some arbor seeds. Um, I could be wrong. What's the easiest way to check? I guess we'll look at... Yeah, yeah, we've got three arbor acorns. I just haven't set up farming for them yet. The heat dissipates into things around it. Okay, yeah, that's more what I was expecting. Which makes the hot tub uh, a bit of a nuisance at this stage. We can make circuits, uh, sorry, logic things out of lead. Fantastic. We've got 8.3 tons. So I would like to have water coming from the desalination go into... Well, first I would like to get rid of this water into our supply, but after that I'd like to bring it from up here. So new water coming in, I want to only let it in if, let's say, this container's empty or half empty or something. Low threshold can be one third. High threshold can be two thirds. And we require... Uh, what exactly? Automation wire going to here. Uh, and we need... Is it a liquid shutoff? Turn liquid flow on or off. Fantastic. I think I'll do it from here. Why can't I put it there? Oh, I can't put it where the uh, 
the fire pole is, I don't think. In real life, you have the whole planet to dump your waste, but in enclosed space, it quickly becomes a problem. Yeah, um, I've heard that, like, dissipating heat from a spacecraft is more difficult than you'd think. Sure, the void is cold, but there's no, like, conductivity with it, basically. Alright, maybe here? In which case, we would connect this like so, and I've gone and made this difficult for myself. Hmm. Hmm. What if this liquid bridge was here instead, and we had a liquid bridge here? And it could come down this way. That seems okay to me. And then... This would go here. We would have another bridge here. And finally, a bridge here. Hey, more for yourself. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And they would be sleeping the moment I prioritized something. Alright, that seems good. That seems good. And... What is this? Filtered liquid output water. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Wait, where is... What have I done here? Okay, so this was water, but now... Oh yeah, this is a desalinator. This outputs water. So why do I have the filtered output as water? Because, yeah, no, this is supposed to be brine. That, that, that makes sense. Alright, so this will go here. And this will go here. Until all of this stuff is gone. And I'll actually just leave this tile until we get rid of all the excess water here. And we'll want some automation wire. Make it out of lead. Just connect that up. And I might need a knot gate. Let's see. Liquid reservoir. Auto outputs. Uh, just tell me if it outputs green when it's... I'm guessing it outputs green when it has enough. And red when it's low. I actually... Do you want the opposite of that? So we will be needing a knot gate, I'm pretty sure. And it turns out I can put that basically anywhere. That's good. Let's grab our liquid shutoff. 
goes here. Hey, Schlurpus. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can't you build a high pressure gas valve underwater and just pump chlorine in the water? Yeah, it would say over pressure. You can't chlorinate the water. How's that, germs? 5,000 and dropping? 280 and dropping? Uh, 3,000 and dropping. That is a hell of a lot less than the 200k we had before. Will it ever get to zero is the question. Or will it be low enough that dupes don't get sick is the main thing. The CF doesn't accept chlorine, but it does accept sand. I mean, I assume it needs some kind of... It says filtration medium. Literally something to filter the water through, right? Why are people getting starvation? Maybe we should have two breaks during the day. No research is selected. Let's fix that. Um, I don't really feel the pinch on anything I need soon. But I would like to get a uh, steam engine out of the way. I definitely want to exploit these natural gas geysers, but they're going to produce a whole lot of heat, and I need to be able to delete it. If I just have a room for natural gas... I guess it's going to get too hot. Natural gas generator. Overheat temperature 75 degrees. So if the gas got hot enough to make water into steam, this would be breaking already, surely. We could add another 50 degrees to that, but that's not good enough. Uh, with gold amalgam. I could pump the heat away with fluids. So that we could not so much run a steam generator as just be able to use a steam generator to remove the heat. I guess I could, I could just make it part of the same loop that goes through the whole base, or quite a lot of the base, to cool things down. I worked with chlorine before. It's a nasty gas that corrodes everything. I wouldn't want to handle it in high volume. Oh, for sure. Saw back... Sleeping on the floor last night. Why would you do this, Matrim? Eye irritation. Face full of an irritating gas or liquid. Holding breath. Okay. CO2 isn't that hot. No, I was thinking of the natural gas. Uh, it's like orange. It comes out of these two geysers. It comes out at... 150 Celsius. 
and I was thinking, at first I was thinking, if we can just pump that into a room that has the natural gas generators, uh, and then we can sort of have water above it in the same insulated area, and the idea is the water flashes to steam, and the steam engine consumes the steam and spits it out as cooler water. Um, but I think, from what I can see, we're not going to be able to build a natural gas generator that would be able to tolerate the heat without getting damaged. When they work too far away from beds, they won't have enough time to get back. Hmm. Except the schedule is like... There's two, there's two sets of downtime before bedtime. I guess we could increase the downtime. That gives them more morale, right? Only just stick a fridge of food in a chlorine-filled area to kill off the germs. <laughs> Yep. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know where we're getting this uh, fertilizer, but I'm not complaining. Over 500 cycles, I never had my generator overheated. With natural gas directly from a geyser? Overheat temperature says 75, plus 50 would be 125. Um, I mean, maybe we could make it out of steel, but we don't have steel yet. It comes out at 150, which, if most of that heat energy gets transferred to water, it'll flash to steam, right? Eventually. We just have to either have something we can build the natural gas generator out of that won't overheat at that temperature, or somehow take the heat away from the gas before we give it to the natural gas generator. Isn't as hot as advertised? What? That's weird. Inspect. Mining gun promo. Bring your mining operations into the 23rd century with new Gravitas personal excavators. Improved particle condensers reduce raw volume for more efficient product shipping. That's good for your bottom line. Licensed for industri uh, industrial use only. Resale may carry a fine of up to 200 grand. And pretty much nothing else. Printing pod promo. Latest in 3D printing technology. We're proud to announce that printing advancements developed here in the Gravitas facility will soon bring new bio-organic production capabilities to your old home printers. Oh yeah, I think we've read this already. Pre-programmed recipes, dinner's never been easier, and so on. Yeah, I was thinking that if it's if it's transferring all its heat to the surrounding area. Maybe I could just run the natural gas through some pipes that will go through where the water is. Um, and we'll have some radiant pipes, is it? Yeah, have some radiant pipes. Uh, we'd have to make that out of at least gold amalgam. Do pipes not overheat? I think pipes don't overheat, right? They can get busted if something freezes in them, but not from heat. 
So we we take insulated pipe, run it to some room where our water is, have radiant pipe sneak through the water, and that water is where we flash to steam and consume it with a steam engine. And then we send the cooled natural gas to natural gas generators. That's the plan anyway. All the heat dissipates naturally into environment. Also, gas has low heat capacity, so there's not that much heat. But it's not the capacity, it's the temperature, right? Like, um... Like, if sooner or later, as everything equalizes, the natural gas generator will overheat. You're overthinking? Is this not the game for that? Where we had, like, 1700 missteps trying to make a steam generator because... ...things had to be made out of ridiculously resilient materials? Someone's on their way down. Evil plot. Give us some more... What is this? Iron? I want that lead as well. But we have to worry about the crude oil. It's not like we can grab it before it falls. In my case, it's over 500 cycles. Uh-huh. Alright. Did we get our little water thing done? There's no power here? Oh, wait, there's no automation. Show me the automation signal. Yeah, so this is green going to red, and this is... Liquid shutoff. Uh, surely it switches on with a green signal, right? It's not like we can reconfigure it, we just have to use a not gate. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. We are getting a green signal, even though this is empty. Do we not need the not gate? Uh, maybe I should have moused over this. Sends a red signal when it's 66% full until it is less than 30... Okay. We didn't need the knot gate. I just didn't know where to look to check. Let's get rid of that. And just run a wires directly. And... Low threshold can be empty, high threshold, say, a third. And it automatically latches, right? Green signal when reservoir is 0% full until it is 33%. Perfect. Perfection itself. Where is this power coming from? Oh, I see. And let's reconnect this pipe. Let's also get a pump down here. Some wire. Get rid of all that mess.
And wasn't I going to put the apothecary here? Is it under stations? Or is it under medicine? Apothecary. It is three tiles tall. Maybe I should just have... Nah, I don't really want to have less cots. Um, you know what? I'm just going to throw the apothecary... Over here somewhere? Question mark? No. Let's just put it here for now. I don't particularly want to have to go to the trouble of building a whole room for it. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ben Wu, good to see you again also. I honestly have had runs where I never build it. Never build... A natural gas generator? Apothecary. Yeah, I could see that. What do we have here? Nucleoid article. Harnesses time into energy. I think we read this last time. Yes. And then, what's this? Filing cabinet? Campus newspaper article. Party time for local students. We definitely read this before. It was in the same place. More snacks for us. Fantastic. And there's vacuum. It's not going to be as easy to reach as last time. I don't think we want to demolish the monument. Don't really see the point of doing that. We could definitely rummage these lockers. Uh, let's do it a bit more carefully though. Don't really see the need to... Remove the Abyssalite. This'll do, I think. All progressing quite peacefully. Ooh, what's this? Not gate and gate. Let's go check that out at some point. Actually, how are we going to get there? Oh, we let all this chlorine through. I don't remember digging through there. Oh well, it's probably fine. Probably fine. How about we dig through... Can they jump this? I don't think so. Maybe I should put, like, an airlock here. We'll keep the chlorine here so that these plants can grow naturally. My base usually runs off petroleum in the end game. I use gas for cooking. Chlorine is a fat gas. What? It stays on the bottom? I see. What kind of recipes do we have here? Frost bun. It's made out of sleet wheat grain. We've got 74. Sure, let's do that. Uh, 60 units of sleet wheat grain. Do we need those for seeds or... 
yeah, I think if we wanted to plant those ourselves, we need the grain. But I'll probably just take advantage of these natural uh, plants. I think you can make burgers with them later. Seems good. Uh, we have better wires and stuff. And bigger power transformers. Which for some reason give you 4 kilowatt output when these wires can take 2 kilowatts. Uh, I think we're, our research is finished for now. Wait, no. We don't have steam engine. So we'll keep that going. The regolith is, uh, or the end of the regolith here is quite close to these regular tiles. Meanwhile, down in the underworld, uh, let's grab all of this lead. Fantastic. And what are we printing? Joya seed or muckroot? Muckroot is just calories, which we've got 278,000. We're still doing fine there. Uh, what is a joya seed for? Jumping joya. Oh, this is just a morale plant, isn't it? We're fine on calories. Let's just take this. The dupes only dig one second at the top and then they return. Something ain't right. We do have oxygen masks for them up there. I think it might be just that because only one tile is exposed here at a time, the uh, errand that's assigned is just to dig this tile. I gotta get the mats. Yeah, I, I don't have gas suits, I've just got oxygen masks, but they're good enough for now. Much easier to set up. Apothecary here. Vitamin chews are made out of coal. Germ resistance. I don't think we want to rely on that. Immuno booster. Germ resistance plus one. That's from Pincher Pepper Nut. We've got eight somehow. Preventative medicine is all well and good in theory, but uh, when we've got like finite resources of everything and haven't got it all set up properly. It's not so great. Curative tablet, coal, and water. Sure. Um, alleviates food poisoning. We haven't had that for a while. But I would like to have some in the event that someone gets sick. And allergy medication alleviates allergic reaction. We can probably ignore that. Balm, lily flower, and phosphorite. Medical pack. Alleviates slimy lung. Yeah, we definitely want some of those just in case.
We've been doing a better job than before of keeping the dupes healthy in the first place, though. Yeah, Kevin's not even coming close to running out of oxygen. Right, things continue to move pretty smoothly, actually. Let's, uh... Let's dig this stuff out. Actually, I can probably get them to do it this way. I think I want to do some more exploring, since everything's flowing pretty smoothly for now. I'd actually like to reveal the whole map if I could. Can we actually get in here already? Looks like it. Or is it not going to let us in at certain angles? We got achievements, 100 cycles, oil biome, I missed that one, red light, green light, okay. Uh, what else have I not checked off here? Research complete, surface breach, oh! Reach the surface of our rocky prison, should be careful, the region's extremely inhospitable indeed. Is this... This is exposed to space? Oh no. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Do we have drywall? I don't think we have drywall. Um, I wanted them to have access to this area, but there happens to be a tile of space exposure right here. On the plus side, we're going to have an easier time venting resources. Drywall is utilities? Utilities. Drywall. Prevent gas and liquid loss in space. Fantastic. It's actually really, really easy to make. Alright, cool. Let's make that as a priority. Nice robo jumper, robo jumper. Oh, robo jumper, right? Yes, robo jumper. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. But you meant some. That was something in the game for a second there. Uh, so yeah, gas is escaping relatively quickly. I'm not. Honestly, it's not escaping that fast. I'm not that terrified of this. But... We definitely want to patch that up for now. And I'd like to have somewhere a little bit more deliberate to vent our unwanted gases. Like here would be good, probably. It goes out as fast as the gas can move there. A damsel? Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's going on up there? Um, it's fine. We're not slowly leaking gas out of the entire asteroid, dooming us all. It's... Nothing bad is happening. We're not in a mad rush to plug this hole before we all die. Um, we could... Pretend we never saw that and, and nothing bad would ever happen. This is a this is truth and not lies. Don't worry about it. Well, yes, but also why are aliens destroying the surface of the asteroid? Um I think it's just random stuff from space hitting the asteroid. Space is just inhospitable.
What's that in the background that I can only see if I... Oh, it's a planet. I think. I can't see a whole lot of it right now. Good thing they have oxygen masks up here. Alright, there's our drywall. No more leaking gas out. And there's the next hole? Wait, what? Oh, cr hello. Okay. Obsidian? I don't think we need to make this out of obsidian. It's probably fine. Anyway, we have an infinite source of oxygen anyway. Oh, we've got it all revealed. We have another oil reservoir. And... What's with the gates? Oh my goodness. Uh, signal switches? Oh, I can just switch these whenever I want, can't I? So is this a puzzle? It's all covered in crude oil. Bruh. Let's see. So we have two signal switches here for each wire. Does that mean we just have to flick both of them on in order to connect this? Yeah. Why not just one switch? Or is that not how this works? Alright, so we have... Uh, from... What? These are all... This is the same wire. And so is this. And then not that. And... Okay. The and output is the door. We need this to be green. We need both of these to be green. We need... It's, it's three and gates. So everything has to be green, basically. Except this has to be red, I, I guess. Alright, so that means these three switches are off. Does that mean the rest are just on? That's it. We did it. Damage overheating, lol. Puzzle hype, right? It was pretty easy. Kind of a weird... Uh-oh. Why are we getting scalded up here? What temperature is this? What? 37 degrees? Uh, what? Polluted oxygen 75 degrees? A hundred degrees. What? Why are there little... Why is there this little patch of really hot air? Oh, is it just because this is so hot? Wow. I didn't expect that. The regolith is really, really hot. Even though right here it's quite cold. Maybe we shouldn't have come in on this side? Easy. Explosives are always a solution. Just like alcohol. Um, I mean it's a really minor scalding, but still. 
how long did he actually spend here? Did he just pass through or did he build something? Drywalls awaiting delivery. Yeah, I think they're going to get scolded. But then there's going to be almost no traffic here. Hey, Sloda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whole walls don't insulate at all, so heat is going to spread. As in dry walls? Alright, so they do have to spend a little time there to get scalded. And they're not going to be doing that anymore. Probably fine. Point of interest walls. Oh, okay. Supposedly we have insufficient oxygen generation. Also, I thought I got rid of all of the diffusers. Now we got rid of the diffusers. It's probably because of some oxygen got sucked out, maybe? That could be the reason. So, we have some stuff we can rummage here. That's pretty much the only reason to come in. But there's so much hot crude oil in here. Someone's going to get scalded to death if they attempt this. We're just going to inspect. Personal journal B556. I've been so tired lately. I've probably spent the last three nights sleeping at my desk and I've used the lamp sh uh, safety shower to bathe twice already this month. I think we read this one already. Yeah. Okay. That poor nymph? Oh, I think I know the one you mean. Is it this nymph? This shine bug right here that's never ever going to escape? Unless we run low on brine. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Sometimes the base overpressures a little so the hydrolyzers don't run for a moment, and the game thinks tubes consumed more O2 in a cycle than was generated. I see. Trapped until death? Yeah. It's got another 12 cycles. Wait, is it really 25 cycles its entire lifespan? It should have died ages ago. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going over... this way, perhaps? I'd like for this crude oil to drain out of the way so we don't get scalded walking through here. Look at all that diamond. I feel like, oh my goodness, so valuable, but I actually don't know what we can do with it yet. Sauna. And we have steam turbines. Or rather, we have the tech... We have the research completed for steam turbines. Uh, superheated forging. We can make glass. We can make bunker doors and bunker tiles which can withstand the impacts fr uh, from space. I'm sure we'll be needing those at some point. It's not too high a priority right now. 
Can the sweepy climb ladders? Uh, whatever. Let's give it a try. And why, no why don't we just knock off robotic tools while we're at it? What is this? It's full of natural gas for some reason. The oil reservoir. Sad shine bug, right? The only way I could see to get it out is if I, like... When does this erupt next? Um, 25 cycles. If I could expand this reservoir over this way, we could get the shine bug out, but first I would have to deal with all of this, which I, I really don't want to mess with. Oh, we have a cool steam vent. 110 degrees, that's too cold to actually uh, run a steam engine. Where's our other steam vent? I think it was also a cool steam vent. Yeah. So it's hot enough to be a problem, like slowly heating the place up, but it's cool enough not to run a steam engine. Just wrangle it? I don't know if we can. Is it food? Airborne critter base. We can't actually wrangle it. We have to, like, build airborne critter bait and have it fly to it, I think. You can't wrangle flying critters, yeah. Maybe you said, but how are you making oxygen? Uh, so here we have a cool salt slush geyser. It spits out... Uh, what is it called? Brine? At negative 10 degrees? We take the brine and feed it... Well, the first thing I do, actually, is... Uh, well, for one thing, we're using the brine as coolant for our metal refinery. But the other thing is, I pump it through the base... Just to cool the place down. And then we bring it back up here, run it through there as well, uh, and we send it into the desalinator, which it has a couple of recipes basically, but it turns our brine into salt and water separately. Uh, once it's done that, we have our water, we send that to the electrolyzer, which turns water into oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, the oxygen and hydrogen gets sucked out of the room into a gas filter. Hydrogen goes straight to the hydrogen generator, which uh, theoretically pays for the whole thing power-wise, but at the very least um, drastically reduces the cost of running all of this. And the oxygen goes to the base. And I'm rather happy with this compact little setup I came up with. Um, we've got a nice little T intersection between the two gas pumps so that neither of them is prioritized by the shape of the gas pipe. That goes straight into a gas filter that fits just above them. The room is only three tiles tall, which is uh, the smallest it can be to fit a hydrogen generator and the hydrogen generator is right here the input for the gas pipe is we just need a little gas bridge over here so the oxygen can get out it's about as neat and tidy as it could possibly be I think and we have a little bit of room for maybe some automation as well I guess or yeah. A lot of these things, like AND gates, can fit behind almost whatever we want. But not all of them. That's slick. Oxygen and cooling, right? The cool, uh, cool salt slush geyser. Probably the best geyser we could have. Uh, close to our base early game, except that we had to learn how to deal with the uh, 
desalination, but that wasn't particularly difficult. And of course the freezing temperature for it is, uh, it's actually really good coolant as well. It's about the same as polluted water, uh, except it doesn't off-gas polluted oxygen. Room for art? What, in here? I don't think so. It's possible to get even smaller, but then you have to play around with gas density. Interesting. Uh, we have another printable. I'll take a watt seed. We're not going to increase the population until we really know what we're doing and have everything under control. Alright, the temperature doesn't seem to be too bad over here. That seems fine. Filtering it gives you salt rather than polluted dirt. Uh, filtering... Oh yeah, filtering the uh, brine, yes. Can add Atmo sensor to prevent pumps from pumping when there's nothing to pump. Oh, okay. So we wait until there's a certain amount of uh, hydrogen before the pumps bother to activate and they're going to be more energy efficient. Is that how that goes? Or rather... Yeah, hydrogen and or oxygen. So if we put an Atmo sensor in... Well, don't we already get... So I'm guessing what, what you're implying there is... It takes a certain amount of power to run the gas pump for one operation. And that one operation could be a tiny little speck of uh, hydrogen, or it could be a thousand grams of, like, hydrogen or oxygen, right? Filtering it gives... Oh, I read that already. I didn't think pumps worked when there was nothing to pump. Yeah, they don't work when there's nothing to pump, but if there's just a little bit to pump, I'm guessing... It's not as energy efficient. So in, if that's the case, we could go... Where is it? Ventilation? Or is it in here? Excuse me. Atmos sensor. Sends a green signal or a red signal when gas pressure enters the chosen range. Um, we can probably run that off of lead. We could put the Atmos sensor right about here. And I'm guessing it's when Atmos sensor, uh, atmospheric pressure is above X, it'll send green. Pump is using same energy to pump 20 grams or 500 grams. That's about what I thought. They'll suck up tiny packets and waste some energy. Though their max is 500 grams, not a thousand. Okay. How hot is this getting? Not even a little bit. We can definitely use lead for this. And automation wire. I'm guessing we just connect that directly to... pumps. I don't love the layout of that. How about something like this? Whoops. That'd be a bit neater. Besides which, the top corner is probably the last place to get. Yeah, this will have the lowest um, pressure. I think that's where we want to measure it. It's a bit lower in the opposite corner, of course, but there's something in the way. I don't think we can put this here. In 
yeah, it's only these three tiles where we could put it, so we'll do that. Do we need power for this? I don't think we do. That's nice. We'll probably let a tiny bit of hydrogen out into the base when we do this. That's a very compact room. I know, right? Thank you. I want to get in there. Uh, okay. Not without safety gear. Preferably without these machines running. This doesn't look safe at all. I think they can't reach. I might have set it to not allow anyone in. Yeah. Can we... Hmm. How about we stop supplying water for a minute? I could just disable the desalinator. And I'll wait till it's vacuum before we open the door. You can sweep as well. Yeah, we've already sort of done that. Um, actually... Yeah, yeah, this is... the filter is set up okay. Hydrogen will go straight to the hydrogen generator and everything else will be spat back into the base, gas-wise. Alright, so materials overlay, gas, and I want this to be vacuum. We might end up with hydrogen up here and vacuum down here. If that's the case, that's probably fine because it's not going to go out the door. Doxilos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wonder why electrolyzers produce 888 oxygen. Uh, who knows? Because they produce 112 grams of hydrogen. Out of one kilogram of water. I think it's a kilogram. It's taking its sweet time emptying. Uh, the air is pretty thin in there already. That's a good argument. Yeah. Every gram is converted into something else. Not like the uh, carbon skimmer that somehow just deletes CO2. A thousand grams of polluted water go in and uh, how much? No, water water goes in Polluted water comes out, and 300 grams of carbon dioxide is just deleted. That 300 grams just doesn't go anywhere. Somehow. It doesn't delete, it mixes it into water, but we have, um... We have a thousand in and a thousand out for the water. H2O is 88% oxygen by weight. There you go. That makes sense. Saf, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've still got a thousand grams of oxygen here. Oh, it's because we haven't run out of the water that's getting pumped into this. So this one up top is going to be ready to enter 
significantly sooner. And thank you for the follow. Alright, so now we're getting hydrogen everywhere. Now we're getting uh, vacuum. And when these gas pumps stop working entirely, we'll know that we can enter the room without spilling hydrogen back into the base. The air's all... or the hydrogen is already getting rather thin. 20 grams up here. 10 grams. 5 grams. We're measuring it in milligrams now. Why so many massage benches? Wait, what? I don't have massage benches. Are you expecting chaos and stress? Oh, definitely, but these are triage cots. Yeah, massage benches need power, so I'm not really using them yet. This is the clinic, yes. Alright, so we've lost power, so we're pretty close to emptying this. Not enough hydrogen is getting pumped into the hydrogen generators to keep it going. Once the dupes wake up... Um, actually, are these all priority 5? I guess they are. Copy settings? I can't do that, actually. Why can't I copy settings? Just needs one last burst to really empty the hydrogen. Someone should be on the way already. Here we go. There is priority tool. Yeah, I just remembered that after I did that. Aziz Light. Aziz Light? I, here we go. Here's a shine bug. I love this. Yeah, someone was saying Aziz Light, uh, I think it was West Dude, when I wasn't putting enough torches for his preferences in Terraria. So it was a natural thing to add. Do we have we have a vacuum here now. Fantastic. Alright, let's get this one built. Priority construction nine. Don't stand there and clap in the middle of the airlock. Wasting so much more power because of that. Uh, is this one done as well? Fantastic. Alright, we have no more hydrogen to waste slash throw out into the base somewhere. I mean, and we're not too concerned about wasting it since we have an infinite source of water here. And priority construction nine. Why is this taking so long? Probably because they're going to fetch the lead and I don't have it in storage yet. Let's fix that. Uh, I need metal. Wait, critter eggs? Why are we putting all the critter eggs in here? Uh, that's... that seems bad. Let's not do that. Metal... I guess lead is not a metal. Where is lead? Refined metal? Lead counts as refined metal. Okay. 
copy settings. And fill our storage bins with those. Choose a blueprint. I guess we're going for blossom seeds. Did we get this one done? I think we did. Alright, let's seal that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take this opportunity to sweep. Don't you need power to use the refinery to make the lead? Uh, no, we just dig the lead up. As far as I know, lead is the only metal... The only refined metal that you don't have to refine. That's why I wanted to dig down here relatively early. So that we could skip the part where we half destroy some metal to make our first bit of refined metal. Sweet, right? Priority cleaning. Get it out of here. Get all of it out of here. And sweep. Is this empty? Yeah, sweep this as well. Move debris into storage. Priority nine. Now why are these... Brine. Oh. That's why we're not putting that away. Hmm. Can I fit a bottle emptier up here somewhere? Kind of? Not really? I could put it here. Sure, why not? Let's crank the priority on that one as well, so we can get those cleaning jobs done. Cavern is hurt. Let's get you healed. Good job, Beldak. And we want brine and nothing else. If I had to drag the brine up there to empty it, I would complain to management? What do you mean? It's, just, it's a short trip. We're almost there with the sweeping. I, I wish you would do more than one thing when you open this door. Yeah, like that. Follow Veldak's example. Blossom seed, is that all? How many how many things are here? I can't tell. Blossom seed times one. That's it. Do we not have a place to store that? Um seed. Blossom seed. We definitely should. Oh, here it goes. Fantastic. And I think that's it. We can seal this up now. And turn the desalinator back on. Please tell me someone's on the way. 
someone is not on the way. Looks so much better, thank you. You'd better you'd better appreciate spending half a day or so just to get that stuff out of there. They're all standing around. So they're not going to do this until morning. Uh, it does look better, I have to admit. I mean, this is enough visual clutter to begin with. Oxygen not included does that a lot. Can we please get the desalinator turned back on? We did, I think. It's working. Now we have to get this thing kick-started again so it can run itself. Oh, and where are we going to set the Atmo sensor? Green signal if the pressure is below 1,000. No, we want above. Above 1,000? Question mark? Oh, that's already saving us a bunch of power. That's so much better. Okay, I'm going to set this really, really high. And we're going to wait and see exactly how... Exactly how much pressure will accumulate in this room. And then we'll set it somewhat below that. Well, the main thing is that we set it high enough that we always get the maximum from the gas pumps. Or at least always get the maximum when we're taking in oxygen. Preferably somehow always get the maximum when we're taking in hydrogen as well. But considering it's a bit more than 10% of what's in the room, I don't necessarily expect that. Has it already stopped? Max gas pressure. Yes, it has. All right. What's our current pressure? 1.6... Uh, 1,628 grams. 1,859 grams. It peaks over 2,000 just the way it... Oh, wow. What? It dropped to like 400 at one moment? All right. Well, I think... I think if we set this to something like 1500 or 2000, it should be pretty reasonable. Let's try 2000 for the top one, 1500 for this one, and see how they behave. I don't suppose there's a good display to show exactly how much gas density we have here. This is not too bad. We're probably going to set it lower so that the electrolyzer is not idle a lot of the time. Yeah, let's try a thousand. And we'll set this one to 1250. We're still hitting max gas pressure for the electrolyzer. What's its maximum pressure? Uh, I don't know. But I think we want to keep lowering this a little bit more.
Very close to an optimal setup. Yeah, we're getting there. Electrolyzer quickly gets overpressured because it float gas floats naturally to pump. It needs bigger pressure difference to move faster. Yeah. I think I'm just going to keep lowering this until we don't quite get the electrolyzer hitting max gas pressure. Unless... And unless the packet's getting sucked up by the gas pumps uh, for oxygen get smaller. Which... haven't we already seen that a bit? We've run out of power. I think we... okay, maybe instead we should start lower and gradually creep it up. Because we, we want this thing running constantly. We just want to be a bit greedier with the gulps of uh, gas from the gas pumps. Power died, yeah, because um, because it wasn't getting a consistent throughput. It also needs like it needs to hit a sort of critical mass before it's self-reinforcing. All right, this is looking pretty good. Actually, this is this is just as if we never put the Atmos sensors in at the moment, I think. No, I saw a red signal. I see a red signal up here. Should we set it a bit higher? Oh, we do reach mass, max gas pressure from the electrolyzer. Even even if we didn't have the Atmos sensor, that would happen sometimes, I think. Alright, let's crank it to like... 750. And this one, 600. Looking for that sweet spot, that's it. I think what we want to see is the Atmos sensor flickering about as often as possible, right? Eight hundred, nine hundred? If it's stuck on red, that's no good. Seven fifty? I think this is it. 750 is pretty good. Five eighty? That's a bit low. Small globs of hydrogen kind of ruin it. There's no way around that. Because we get uh like twelve percent. Hydrogen. But we should tend to get bigger gulps of oxygen with this. So it'll be a little more efficient. I think. It needs an RS latch. Well, the thing is, the electrolyzer gets over gas pressure as well. Oh, we can print something, by the way. Uh, algae? Sure, why not? Alright, I'm just gonna give it a save real quick. And I think we'll do some words on stream. Take a little break. It's tricky, yeah. A lot of things are tricky in Oni. 
Yeah, I think... I think if the Atmos sensors are flicking on and off almost as often as possible, that's probably the sweet spot we're looking for, right? Because if they go red for long, um, there's too much downtime and the system's going to collapse. We're not going to get power. So we want it running basically always with the electrolyzers. Just uh, taking gulps with the gas pumps a little less often. Although the two gas pumps are supposed to exactly keep up with an electrolyzer, so I guess it's not surprising. Um, we should see the gas pumps operating almost all the time, even if we make them a bit more efficient. Hey, Boopy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is it near a spider? Why is T near a spider? <laughs> Don't worry, it's a friendly spider. It's fine. Maybe remove the floor, remove one hydrogen generator, and let the upper pumps only supply hydrogen. That's a thought. I think it's a bit late. Uh, I don't really want to mess with this now, but definitely something to consider next time. So that we get the gases naturally separating themselves. We, we would need more gas, because of the ratio, we'd need like to oversupply gas pumps. Um, and one gas pump would be way more than enough or what does the gas pump do? 500 gram a second? Gas pump... 500 gram a second, so it would take uh, four electrolyzers to not quite need one gas pump. And we would have to go for... Let's see, if we had two electrolyzers, 888 times two... Uh, we would need more than three. Yeah, we would need four gas pumps for the oxygen and one gas pump for the hydrogen. But the fact that it's getting separated like that, we could definitely avoid sucking up uh, little tiny packets of hydrogen. And because there's no minimum power consumption in anything, as far as I know, uh, for electricity with oxygen not included, uh, it would be more power efficient to do it that way. Next run confirmed, indeed. Uvim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Airflow tiles. Uh, technically, yes. I just don't want to trust something like that to keep all of the hydrogen in. I, I would rather it was sealed. Robo Spider is friend, indeed. Damsel doesn't trust. Okay, let's do some words on stream. Uh, is this set up properly? I think it is. Let me just double check I copied the link. There's a failure scenario where pipes are full of oxygen then it, the hydrogen can't get to the generators. Yeah, we've got a gas filter to get rid of the oxygen, and we've got plenty of gas vents. Uh, and the main... The, the reason we're doing it, this is for oxygen, so if oxygen is saturated and we're not getting... Speaking of oxygen... Uh, okay, it's taking longer than I thought it would to have an oxygen problem after having that done for maintenance. The Untold Sitcom. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Hey, hey. How's Oni treating you? Not too bad. Not too bad. It's going smoothly but slowly. Kind of. 
Vlad the Imploded, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. Yeah, we just tidied this up, got rid of... We swept... Oh, there's sedimentary rock in there still. Pretend you didn't see that. Uh, we swept the floors, we added some Atmo sensors to our electrolysis rooms. So that we're just gonna wait until there's a bit more gas pressure before the pumps trigger, before the pumps work. So um, they're gonna be a little bit more power efficient. Stream was fun, nice. Earthbound, is that that old RPG? Culture Jelly, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, anyway, we're just about to take a short break, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Look at that words on stream record, level 16, not too shabby. It's a start. I'm, I'm thinking Damsel's probably got me pretty well beat there. Probably. Uh, Correctamundo, indeed. Earthbound was the origin of a lot of the newer wacky RPGs. Is that the one with the... No, I was thinking of Mother for a second there. Kind of boring. That's unfortunate. Uh, Kukeros, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mother is in the same universe. Ah, I, I see. Mother's the Japanese name. Okay, so it is the same game. Alright, let's get started with words on stream. I'll be back in a few uh, minutes, that is. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. One more. One more. nicely done all right we'll continue that a bit later did horrible that round it's fine didn't you get the top word last time wait you top scored what are you talking about lad it's fine don't worry about it uh let's pause this one i already did fantastic unpause the video game Overachiever, right? Carenza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's our electrolysis system. Slightly more efficient than before. Now then. Um, how did water get down here? Oh, no. I actually don't know. Maybe ice melted? I think ice melted. I can see a bunch of melted ice here. I don't think water actually came down this way. Do I particularly care that much? I guess I'm not that worried by this, but still. How is the crude oil still 88 degrees? Oh, the water is that hot now. Okay. Alright, shall we continue exploring? How about... Wait, I ordered this dig a million years ago. It's unreachable, supposedly. How is it? Oh... That, that's how. That's how it's unreachable. Um, and I guess... Let's dig our way up here. see what's over this way. All that tricky, tricky oil just waiting down there to ruin everything. Tricky oil? I mean, we did the oil or an oil production chain last time. 
Uh, and I think we used it a bit too much. We burnt all our coal. I'd like to explore up here a bit more. Can I just get someone to move there? Who's got the best movement speed? Is there a good way to look that up? Athletics? Skills. Here we go. Athletics 19. Who's that? Benwu. That sounds like a lot. Heaven Athletics 5. Whiskers is 9. Benwu 19. Karenza 10. Evil Pla 3. 5. Sloda is 9. Yeah, 19 is gargantuan athletics. Ben Wu is an Olympian. Where is Ben Wu? I tried to click follow just now. Here we go. Ben Wu is running the manual generator. Alright, Ben Wu, could you please come over here? Had bad experiences with oil, my own fault. Fair enough. He's getting scolded. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's full of scalding hot water now. Oh no. Oh, that's not great. That is suboptimal. Um. I guess we should mop it up. Yeah, we should mop it. New log entry. Did I already see this? Yeah, I did. How's our health? Sloder is on 69. That's not too bad. Streamer is impressed by the size of Ben Wu's athletics? Yes. Do the stats max at 20, or do they keep going? Good question. Scalding again. It's Kevin this time. What's Kevin trying to do? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you might wanna, you might wanna leave. Kevin. In fact, both of you just get healed first, and then I'm gonna crank the priority on the nearest ones, and lower it after that. And hopefully that will help to prevent things like someone is assigned this mop task. Oh no, Kevin, get out of there. Quickly. Yikes, that was so much closer than I thought it would be. <gasps> Oh no. Okay, okay. Um How do we make someone rescue Kevin again? Why is he naked? He's not naked. Uh So I think someone will automatically be assigned to bring him to the triage cot, right? Why is Kevin always ruining everything? It's not ruining everything. Um... Can I see... I don't see, like, a schedule attached to him, like a... an errand. I knew... I know there was a way to see if someone's coming to pick him up. These duplicants are near death. The triage cot is required for rescue. Yes. Um, triage cots are all priority 9 already. Give it a couple of seconds, and... I do wish it... I, I do wish there were better tools for seeing what everyone's up to. Um, I guess I just have to... 
To do list personal needs. What if I just get them to move nowhere in particular? Move to here. Actually, Ben Wu's the perfect person to do this. Don't get back on the generator. I hope it's because someone else is already picking up Cavern. Um, do I just need to check everyone else's tasks one by one? Heal, triage cart. That's Kevin just sitting in the cart. Oh, wait, no, this is Ka uh Okay. Assign Kevin to triage cart manually? Uh, Kevin? Kevin's already assigned. Can we not, like, make rescue a high priority? Do we, do we, oh, that's a joya seed. Use yellow alert? I can try. I guess that would be at the triage cot. Sweep Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Sweep him if that's what saves him. I don't remember how we got someone to pick him up last time. I think it was literally just have a cot available, but because of the way these games work, it, like, they won't check for another task until they finish the task they're doing. Also, that's a lot of CO2 down here. I'm just going to move them off of this. You're still doing farming supply. How do I get them to rescue him? I hate it when these games have no direct orders. Time until death is only 86 seconds. I can't believe he like climbed out of where it was hot. Oh, is this it? It says to-do list harvest sleet wheat, but apparently that's not what Whiskers is up to. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Get him in there. Cavern, time until death, 75 seconds. It's, it's gonna be uncomfortably close, but I think we're fine. I think we're going to be okay. That was close. It is still uncomfortably close. Stopping to take off his mask. 30 seconds. Didn't know he had to make it to the cart, yeah. It looks like he's going to be fine. Tw a whopping 25 seconds remaining. No, where are you going? What? What the hell do you think you're doing? He's going to get food? Are you serious right now? 
If he dies because he won't get in the cart and he's going to get food instead, I'm going to be... Oh, no, wait. It's not saying he's dying. Okay. Okay. I think... I think it's okay now. All right. Okay. Apparently, the moment that he's taken to the cot, he can just walk around. Where are you going? He's going to put his oxygen mask back. Kevin, I think... I think there are more pressing needs that you need to address right now. I, I, someone else can take the mask back to the dock. It's fine. You don't have to... Oh, Kevin. He's got 0.5 health, right? Get to bed, you silly little bean. <sighs> we got there eventually. Who was Kevin though, right? <laughs> I'm scared, I was too. Hey, BG Nymond. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't afford an emergency room bill. Oh, don't remind me. We're not here to think about dystopias. Finish the job with one hit point or full, long as it gets done. Actually didn't know you could save them. When one of mine passed out, I was like, okay, rest in peace. Yeah, it's not entirely obvious. Like, you can't do it directly. Alright, let's crank the priority on this one. So it's like priority 9, 8, 7, 6. So that they don't, you know, walk through all of this scalding water. To mop up this tile first. I think I'll also put somewhere else for the water to drain to. In case, I mean, I'm sure more of this is going to melt eventually. Considering the temperatures here, I'm surprised any of this did melt. Maybe that's not what happened. In which case, I don't know how we got water down here. I think it would be time for Atmo suits, yeah. Do we have what we need for Atmo suits? Stations, Exosuit Forge. How much power does this use? 480 watts. I'm just going to throw it here for now. And we can always move it. Do we need a textile loom? I guess it couldn't hurt. Wait, what do we make those out of? Lead. And lead. That's fine, I suppose. Kevin's all the way up to six hit points now. Or 6% health. Do you know how much priority it adds when you give them preferred jobs? Uh, no I don't. I'm not too clear on that actually. Alright, I'm not deleting CO2 here enough. Um, this thing needs water. And we never actually connected this wire. That would probably help. And now that I look at it... We could probably get rid of this. What 
What are you up to? Digging this stuff out? That's fine. Alright. I don't think we're going to get fluid falling down here again. I still don't know how it happened. How's our system here? It's looking pretty good. And we're deleting CO2 again. Fantastic. I'll put something in place when we can get pipe all the way up to... Sp I guess I could do it right now. But... I was going to say it's not necessarily a priority. Oh, I would have to run another gas pipe up past here. Which means I would have to widen this. I kind of wanted... I guess we could do it up here. I'd need to get rid of this polluted water. I want the middle of the elevator to be our pipe for getting rid of gases. So it'll go up to here. And then we can stop using, uh, in instead of having, what is it called? Carbon skimmer, we can just vent the CO2. Don't need to feed it water and it'll be a bit more power efficient. I guess... Maybe I just need to learn to stop worrying and love letting weird gases into my base all the time. I will be needing to pump that looted water away though. Probably need better power for suit docks. Yeah, it definitely costs more power. Um, let's see. Checkpoint dock. 120 watts versus... Uh, zero, actually. It's actually just uh, pumping the oxygen in. We don't need any power for oxygen mask docks. Why is this taking so long to build? Resource low lead? What? Why did it let me queue those up then? Does it think all of this lead is inaccessible now? I think that's probably it. Maybe? Mop errand unreachable. How is it unreachable? Oh. Wait, no. I thought maybe they dug this but didn't build the ladders. How are they not able to go down here? Because there's no... Because there's no oxygen. Ah, oh, because this is not getting oxygen. Okay. So we just need the carbon skimmer to do its thing. So the CO2 will fall down so that there'll be oxygen here. And there was probably a bit more oxygen going up this way as well, as people kept coming up here a little bit more. That's not going to be reachable, is it?
bit of CO2 and chlorine is not that bad. Dupes are pretty tough, yeah. What do we got printable wise? How's our calories? 323,000. It's gone up again or continued to. We only have calories to choose from right now though, so we'll take some omelets. Scalding. What? Why? No. Bad. I, sh I mean, it, it's, it's my fault, really, for thinking anyone would come down and do this top priority job before this default priority dig. Sloda is at least not having any trouble getting back safely. Okay. I think one CF can support five skimmers. One CF. CF. Water CF. Oh, for dealing with the polluted water. Yeah, it's just easier. Like, the whole function of this is to delete carbon dioxide, so we may as well just vent it into space. It also becomes tempting to throw certain other byproduct gases into space as well, if we do that. Kevin's already back for more. Alright, that's enough. Back to the cot with you. And you know what? I'm not even going to take the slightest risk. We're going to have slow to heal as well. Okay. What do we got researched here? Sweepy. I wanted to find out if this thing will climb ladders. I should certainly hope so. What are we making it out of? Lead? Just like those other things. 240 watts. Robo miner. I don't think we're going to be building any of these. At least for the time being. But hey, it's unlocked. Um, since I'm not researching anything specific right now, I think I'll just... Oh, there's actually only three? Four things, actually. That's fine. I'll just queue this up so that as much gets done as possible with one click. What's this? 2.4 cycles? I don't understand... Oh, yes I do. It's all waiting for lead. Mute? Uh, yeah, I was muted for a second there. Give that little thing a chance? What little thing are we talking about? Oh, the shine bug got out. Fantastic. How much... It's got... Literally... Days left to live. It's fine. It only lives for 25 cycles. But, yeah. It did get out eventually. What is this? Glossy Draco? 
And we also have... I can't click on it. Is this a baby? I think it's a baby. And I still can't click on it. Yeah, we got a couple of glossies. I can see, without having it on screen, that this digging is happening. That's, uh, that's good. Are we going to forgo the oxygen masks coming up here? There should always be oxygen here, but... And the polluted oxygen should find its way to the top, I suppose. Space when? We'll get there. We're digging the main shaft up there now. Except I'll need... I'll need a way to get rid of this polluted water. We don't really have room in here for more of it. How much room do I have? Oh, this is empty as hell. Okay. What if I pump... How much is this? This polluted water that's in our way. It's like... Uh, barring the ones that are like half full. 20... Plus 15, 35. Call it maybe probably less than 40 tiles. Uh, so 40,000... And these can take how much? 5,000 only. This could actually only take like half of the polluted water that's up here. Speaking of which, I thought we set this up. Liquid shutoff. Disconnects by automation signal. Oh, I never actually connected this, did I? I'm kind of glad I didn't though, because we need... Well, I was trying to empty this out, but I think that can wait. I never did enable this desalinator either. It's fine. It's a low priority. Um, I'm tempted to just pump this polluted water directly into our sewage system. And maybe when that's full, I'll direct the rest over here, perhaps. And we could make some more room for it, I guess. Now, where do we dig through to get there? This makes a lot of sense. Uh, pump. Except the power's gonna have to... This is gonna be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, how about temporarily we just do this and... Put a transformer right about here. And just a regular wire. All the way... What? What? No, no, this is fine, actually. There we go. Regular wire up through here. All the zigzags. And finally, get to where it's going. And then we'll get some pipe. I wish we could run wire or pipe through these natural tiles, but what are you going to do? That's a bit of a mess. There we go. And... 
is it going? Straight into here, actually. So that can go there. I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Is that supposed to be connected like that? I'm thinking no. I'll fix that in a hurry. It does seem to be working, but I don't trust the way that's connected. And... Should probably get rid of that polluted water as well while we're at it. Even if we have to make a bit more space to store this over here. I hope I'm not overdoing it. I don't really want to cut through the abyssalite, but I guess I'm going to eventually anyway. It's like nearly the same temperature on either side. It's probably fine. Liquid pump. Power. And we'll just run this through here. Oh, we can't actually. Oops. That will have to do... Wait, can we put this here? Probably not. Signet House app? Signet House app? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's go... Power Transformer does indeed not fit there. So let's put it... Here. Wait, that's backward, isn't it? Put it there. I think I will do it this way, actually. That should be okay. Right then. We've got quite a lot of jobs queued up now. Everyone healthy? Uh, ben Wu has is missing two hit points, but that's probably fine. The mopping is getting done, apparently. Little by little. What are you up to? Mopping? Fantastic. Not sure why it's lurching like this right now. Now it seems to be fine. Why do you want to pump that polluted water when you can sink it to the right? Um, I just don't want to have to deal with it later. Or where would I put it exactly? We may as well put it somewhere useful slash organized. Someone did have to run the generator? I'll set the threshold low. 
I thought we were able to copy settings with manual generators. Apparently not. That should account for the slack, if this is able to run itself or not. It seems like it just takes a long time for the battery to run out. We are other we will be running other things off of this as well. Okay. Let's mop this up as well. Crank the priorities on these also. If only to make sure they're done in the right order. And I think we're back to things running kind of smoothly for a bit. What's the problem here? No power consumers. Yeah, that's fine. These, uh, Atmos sensors don't consume power. Yeah, they don't. Calories? Why not? We're actually getting calories from the printing so often that it's like part of our regular rotation. Please don't get tr stuck again. Oh no, 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 please. Okay. Okay. Cavern, if you are not heading back to a cot right now. Okay, good. Who's getting scalded now? Ben Wu? How am I going to mop this up? It might actually be a problem. And why is it still scalding? Oh my goodness. All right, Ben Wu, move to here, please, without delay. That speed, wow, and he needed it as well. That's terrifying. Ben Wu is on his way to the cot. I don't understand why... Uh, why they stand in a tile in the middle of these that keeps filling up with more water. Now it says it's unreachable. It just changed. Probably because there were no oxygen masks that were fully supplied. I think that's why. Ben Wu flexing his 19 athletics making Kevin jealous. Who is Kevin? The legend of Kevin. 
How's our health? Climbing all the way up to 19. Fantastic. Kevin, Kevin, same. It's the kid from home alone? Oh no. Wait. Why would I have put the pump here? That's not going to be very good. Um, liquid pump. Bring this stuff over here. Fantastic. That would have been embarrassing. Is the Shine Nymph sleeping? Adorable. Misclicked. I still don't know how this water got here. Perhaps we never will. Have you seen purple pips? Purple pips? I have not seen purple pips. Are we talking about... These guys? Cuddle Pip. Eats Arbitry or Thimble Reed. Same as a regular Pip. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess we could do some inspects. Thermo nullifier promo. We've seen this one. Yeah, this is exactly the same layout as last time. What about this? This is not inspectable. It's just a door. Thought that was neutronium for a second there. This is Neutronium. We got a Slickster. With absolutely no gas to consume. Ooh, obsidian. How has this still not been built? The lead is accessible. One point eight tons right there. I guess we have other jobs to do. I could crank the priority on these a bit. We did set it to... Enable proximity. Yes, we did. Okay. Beep, doop, beep, beep. Is all of our research done? No, we're, f we're fine. Mm -hmm. 
even when I had twice as many dupes last playthrough, uh, it didn't feel that different with it always taking a bunch of time for jobs to get done. Well, here we go with the textile loom. Finally make use of these free reed fibers we've been accumulating for quite a long time. Probably have way more than we're ever going to need already. And what is Kevin up to this time? Mopping in the right order. And apparently not getting scolded. Well, that's good. Although you are running out of oxygen. You are really running out of oxygen. Now you get scolded? How did that happen? Benwoo's just standing in a tile where water keeps flowing into. Alright, that's enough Benwoo. Uh, triage cot. Benwoo. Cavern. I don't care if he's barely damaged. And now we have water in this tile again. It's rather odd the way this behaves. Steadily getting to the point where these jobs are done. I should put some deodorizers in here while we're at it. Can we just grab some of this wire? Yeah, that'll do. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ben accuses me of being an Amazon bot. I don't think you're an Amazon bot. Oh wait, I remember. What happened to the text Just speech? wanted to remind oh, there everyone that the iconic and epic Christmas movie Hogfather is on Amazon Prime with ads. Indeed. Thanks for the pities, West. I really don't know where they get that from. I'm so confused. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so things are proceeding fairly smoothly. We just gotta keep babysitting as people try to mop this scalding hot uh, water up so that we can move through here without getting scalded, ironically enough. I think we need pics of me being an Amazon bot. Just wanted to let everyone know that the iconic and epic movie Vampire Suck is on Amazon Prime. Awesome parody of the Twilight movies, at least in the US. Indeed. Why is this thing not working? Pipe blocked? Oh, that's right. We were fixing that weird connection. Thanks again, Westy. Oh, we got the textile loop. We got all of it now, all of a sudden. Sweepy dock. Do we have to make a sweepy as well, or does it come with it? Uh, what about our crafting station? No, nope, that's only for oxygen masks. Is the sweepy already doing its job? Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. Good luck. Or the weeping angels will get you. That was a good episode. Next thing you know, they will accuse me of being a Doctor Who bot. 
Jam Jam Jam. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vampires suck is kind of dumb, but it sounds like such high philosophical, intellectual... It sounds like such high art. Watched a few minutes of it, couldn't watch the rest, rip. That was the first episode I saw. How's Kevin? Kevin's actually totally fine. Emphasis on high art, <laughs> indeed. Kevin gets burnt, like, on his way back, but other dupes don't. Let's see. Can I... Can I find... How about properties? Or is it what he's wearing? Insulation thickness, 0.5 centimeters. Okay. And who else is it that keeps coming down here? Ben Wu? Properties. Insulation thickness, 0.45 centimeters. Snazzy suit. Christopher Judge from SG1. Science fiction is an existential metaphor that allows us to tell stories about the human condition. Isaac Asmanov once said that individual science fiction stories may seem as trivial as ever to the blind critics and philosophers of today, but the core of science... But the core of science fiction, its essence, has become as crucial to our salvation if we are to be saved at all. Indeed. The last question would be a good example of a very important short science fiction story. 5k bits, wow. Thank you so much, Wes. Perfect for Christopher Judge from SG1. I'm not sure if I remember the reference. So, do dupes... It, apparently they have the same insulation thickness, these two. Do dupes have, like, personal differences in how much temperature they can take? Episode 200. Oh, what do we got here? Um... I don't particularly want to spill some brine. It, it comes... Does it come out as just fluid... Or does it... You know what? I, I kind of need to know. We'll take the brine. And... Okay, that makes more sense. That's about what I expected. Or would hope for. It just comes out in a bottle. We've already got an emptier to put the brine in its place. How's the construction coming up here? Pretty well, actually. Kind of. While we're at it, can we get another deodorizer up here? Metal is gonna, that going to be made of? Iron. That's fine. Do we need another storage place? I think we do. This is so close to full. But I don't really have anywhere. Uh, I guess we have this room. If we don't mind it being temporary. I think I'd like to make this a storage area, once we're done clearing it out properly.
So here's Cavern not getting scalded. And then here's Benwu. Uh oh. This is all happening so fast. Nope, 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 nope. Cavern. Back you go. And I don't want to send Ben Wu back in case we want Ben Wu to pick up Cavern again. Alright, that was uncomfortably close. Why is the air 80 degrees here? I guess because everything is 80 degrees. But why... Does chlorine conduct temperature more quickly than carbon dioxide? Let's... or is it the latter? No, I don't think it's... it could be the latter. That might make sense, actually. Why are you hurting them? I don't want to hurt them. I'm just getting this water cleared out so that they can get through without getting scalded. You need some wheeze warts? I don't think wheeze warts are going to cut it down here. But they are good. Um, our base is actually doing fine temperature wise because we've got this uh, cooling knot loop. We're taking advantage of the cool salt slush geyser. Which is the source of our oxygen as well. Speaking of oxygen. Oh, it's doing very well. Fantastic. That's with nothing but the electrolyzers. So we don't have to stress about running out of slime, uh, algae, rather, or anything like that. They have a very curious ordering. Oh, I guess it's because there's resources lying around on the ground. That they're doing it this way. That's pretty efficient. Alright, so Sweepy Dock. I didn't actually see a sweepy running around. Um, storing zero out of a thousand kilograms, awaiting delivery refined metal. Oh, so it'll build the sweepy itself? Can we tell it what refined metal to use, or... Is it just going to use whatever? You would think at priority 9 this would get done a little bit sooner. Deliver to Sweepy Dock Veldak. What is Veldak up to? Veldak is down below. Store polluted dirt. Deliver to Sweepy Dock. Urgent. Relax. Very urgent. Well, I guess that's not happening today. What about the textile loom? We can make snazzy suit, cool vest, or warm sweater. Insulation thickness 1 centimeter. 0 0.25, 0 0.025, 0 0.05. Protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation. Hmm. And it all just costs raid fiber, which we've got practically infinite of. That's nice. I think I want most of them wearing snazzy suits. I know we've got at least one or two. Where does it say if they're wearing a suit? 
properties. Can I just visually find one that's wearing a snazzy suit? Okay, Ben Wu is wearing... Uh, status? That's not it. Oh, no, it's Sloda that's wearing something fancy. I don't know if Ben Wu is wearing something. Alright, Sloda is wearing... Um, I don't know. Properties? Pr primo garb. Is this re really where I need to look? To find out that they're wearing something in particular? Surely not. Primo garb. Equipment, clothing, classic cummerbund. So it's under bio of all things. Decor 40. Wow. Okay. So that is one. Uh, and was that? That was Whiskers. Actually. Carenza doesn't have anything. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Wait, who did I just click on? My trim. My trim is five. Six. Uh, ben Wu has a snazzy suit. And... Seven? Wait, we have eight people. And two people have suits. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's just make six of these. Yeah, sna snazzy suit is the little tie. You can see Ben Wu's wearing it. I would just go over the oil biome much cooler there, but maybe you don't want to let chlorine out. Yeah, I don't like letting chlorine out. They can unequip, I think, should be another menu. I just want to get everyone wearing something. And we could maybe think about... I doubt a cool vest is going to protect them from getting scalded, right? Probably. Uh, so we want to make some Atmo suits. We actually can already, because we've got a bit of refined iron. We can't use lead for this, shockingly enough. Alright, so we need to refine more. I would like to have at least a couple of Atmo suits. Um, oh, we need way more. Didn't it say that we could make them a second ago? Doesn't cost a lot of reed fiber. Uh, so we need three operations. For each suit. And we'll see how much heat that generates or if it's even noticeable. Oh, there's our sweepy. Is it stuck in this room? Really? I mean, I kind of half expected that, but... Oh, that's how full it is. What did that text say? Del oh, there's a bunch of granite in here. So it does have something to do. I can't necessarily see... Um... Displayed object. You can rename the sweepy? Whoa. 
that's um that's some extreme knitting right there. Displayed object. Is this what we're telling it to pick up? Why is there a hundred and one thousand pickled meal? Is that how much is just sitting here next to the mess tables for some reason? Is it measured in calories? That might be the reason. That's still a lot. That's a third of our stored calories. Well, we may as well just leave it to do its thing, at least for now. Deploys an automated sweepy bot to sweep up solid debris and liquid spills. Dock stores liquid and solids gathered by the sweepy. Uses power to recharge the sweepy. Duplicants will empty dock storage into available storage bins. Storage capacity is rather small, I think. It's like 1 20th of a storage bin. The cute little face comes pre-installed. Okay. I'll be impressed if I see it leave the room. But it doesn't look like it can. Let's get Kevin in a snazzy suit. Who knows, maybe it'll protect him ever so slightly from the scalding damage. Next is Evil Pluck. I can't believe this mystery water came down here. It's been such a pain to deal with. Where are you going? Over here for iron. If we do make another storage area, there's going to be an awful lot of hauling jobs all of a sudden. Probably should do that, as soon as we get rid of this. They're probably getting iron so that they can do... The metal refinery jobs? We've, we're half finished. I think I do see a change in the temperature here already. It's actually kind of scary how quickly that heats up. Is that printing? That is printing. Slickster lava? I don't think we can deal with that right now. Although, I'm a little surprised that it's available. We haven't exactly made contact with one. construction jobs right now. Let's prioritize this one so it's at least functional.
So would I actually have to make a sweepy in every single room where I want things automatically swept up? That seems a bit much. How's our research? Still going. Also, hi, Manky Kitty. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Our oxygen gas vents are overpressured. This is good. This is very good, actually. No petroleum boil uh, boiler yet? Not yet. What is this? Oh, Kevin just leveled up or something. Fantastic. Did we finish these jobs? No, we're still halfway done. Did we get an Atmo suit? We did. Alright, should we get rid of the uh, oxygen masks then? As soon as someone comes back up. Where are they right now? Probably over here. Oh, they snuck by. Alright. Oxygen. Mask checkpoint and so on. Get out of here. And... Don't deconstruct at the moment after Evil Pla goes through. That's so rude. Alright. Now we can deconstruct it. And I hope we don't need more room. We do. It's just a little bit taller. It's probably fine. Atmo suit dock checkpoint. Atmo suit dock. And it's going to need power as well as oxygen. But we've already got the oxygen in place, so that's nice. He should probably go with a natural gas gen to burn up what he has. I don't have any natural gas just lying around, but I do have two vents. Um, the only reason I'm not exploiting it yet is because... It'll generate an awful lot of heat. Oh, that's a lot of polluted oxygen. Um, could we perhaps get another deodorizer? Why is this not powered? Awaiting delivery iron ore. Could probably go ahead and open this airlock as well. Since this is full of polluted oxygen anyway. Can we cryo these? Need some of that sweet, sweet Aquatuna chill, indeed. Made a mess? What? Oh. Oh, no. Um, that's my bad, obviously. I should have thought of that. Where did they make a mess? Okay, we can handle that. Um, first of all, we need a liquid valve. And I want... If I just put it here, does that work, or do I have to...
I'll try just putting it here. I can't, it won't let me. Alright then. Oh, because the fire pole is here, that's why. If I, even though there's already a pipe there, if I put a liquid valve here, is it going to limit the flow? It, I can't put it there either. Okay, I see how it is. Um, get rid of these two bits of pipe in a hurry, please. In fact, make it top priority. Oh no. Now we've got polluted water down here. At least we're already filtering this. Ah, but that's... It's going to put polluted water in the desalinator. Unless I add another filter. Did you have to make a mess there in particular? Okay. Need an intake vent at the top of the base and bottom, then run through a filtration setup to separate gases out and output oxygen to the center, permanently cycling the air in the base. That's some long-term goals right there. Central air conditioning sounds nice too. Right, so we're just gonna severely limit the throughput of this pipe, and that way the uh, the water from the sinks and lavatories are gonna get treated, and they're not gonna bottleneck. is still awaiting delivery of iron because we keep having to go over here for it still because we don't have enough storage because we haven't cleared this area because we're waiting on this temperature 20 degrees that's really quite fine actually What's the temperature here? 21. Oh, don't tell me. We're getting our iron from here, but now we can't go through because... Yes, we can. Don't tell me they're going to go down to the hot place with no suits, though. Um, that might be bad, so let's lock this door for now. How's everyone's health? Benwu is slightly singed or something. I'm a little concerned at how low our brine is getting. When is our next uh, next activity? 4.4 cycles. That's actually super fine. Can we get more iron somewhere? Uh, let's see, materials overlay, metal, iron looks like, like, like this, okay, that's actually super convenient, except that's where I locked the door before. I 
I could cancel the jobs down here. Until we... No one will go down here, there's no reason to. Except to maybe pick up some lead or something. Until we're ready with the Atmo suits. Oh, I guess if fluid accumulated here and then they open this. That's probably how it got down there earlier. And this is not looking much better. Get that iron. How's the temperature here? 45, that's not bad. It's not scalding bad. And we can get this as well. Alright, so in terms of actual volume of stuff, we're not running out of iron anytime soon. This is waiting on lead, so if I'd left those airlocks forbidden, that never would have got done. Uh, more brine? Why not? That is our oxygen supply, after all. Oh, there's chlorine everywhere now. Oh, boy. And polluted oxygen. Okay. Okay. That's nice. And now we're pumping water that isn't filtered... ...into here. Here? Is that okay? Do we filter it later? No, we don't. <sighs> that one little accident has added so many filtration problems. I could just let this desalinator get damaged. I don't particularly like that idea. If I change it so that it actively filters brine, I think that's the way to go. Get rid of this liquid pipe. And get rid of these two. And we're going to swap it so that the active filter goes to the desalinator. The rest goes up here. And then we're going to filter out pure water. From this, which is also going to filter this one. It's all solvable, we believe in you. Yeah, it's just a bit of a... Someone else made a mess already. Oh, come on! They put the valve in, but the default value is maximum speed? Ah... <sighs> That's not helping anything. Well, I guess that's just more of the same problem that we're already solving right now. Did you know that you can wipe liquids off the top if you build a mesh tile in it? That's so... W that is very hacky, although we did get polluted water down the bottom here, so I don't think we can do anything about that. Um, alright, so we're going to need another liquid filter. Can't actually put it there, can I? It's going to take H2O this way, and... Uh, 
technically we could also get brine. No, we couldn't. Okay, I'm going to take a little leap of faith and say that whatever comes out there has to be polluted water. And that's going to go here. It's a small enough amount you can mop up fluids when they're at the top like that. That's weird. Alright, so we just have a trickle now of polluted water coming down here like we were supposed to before. In future, I'll definitely set this up without the pipe connected until it's built. So that I have to... So that I find this thing built, I set the flow control, and then I queue up a pipe. That's going to be incredibly power inefficient, I guess. Because it's going to be one operation per tiny little bit of polluted water. If we set it higher... As long as there's room for the polluted water from the bathroom to squeeze in... That's all that really matters, right? Never did connect this wire. Um, is this configured? But you don't configure it here, you configure it here. Okay. Priority this one. This is going to be brine, not water. Everything else... Everything else is going to go here. And why is why are we still waiting on this one? Two hundred kilo iron ore. Is this it? I think it might be. Make a small suggestion? Like what? Alright, and this is set to water only. Anything that isn't water... Oh. Wait, can this thing take water and not take damage? I just saw water go into the water sea ebb and it didn't get damaged. It makes sense, but I'm just surprised the game isn't like... No, that's the wrong input. Place a storage container set to filtration medium right next to the water sea ebb? We could do that. It doesn't have to get replaced very often, though. Oh, it's awaiting delivery now. But I think it's working, otherwise it would have a red uh, thingamajig. Also, the storage is actually super close by. But I'll take an excuse to get more storage space. And two more of them made a mess. Why? Because the CF isn't running. Right. Also, this thing is covered in sand now. Or, actually? No, it's fine. There isn't actually a machine covered in sand, at least. How are you catching your breath here, Matrim? I'd love to know. Water just bypasses CF with no power needed, I think. Okay, cool. That's a small mercy. Do we have what we need to make steel? Uh, yes, we do. 
cool. Why don't we get on top of that? Actually, I didn't queue up enough iron. Um, 135 kilograms per recipe. We've got 70 already. Or is that... Hang on. Is it... It costs 70? And we've got this much. Okay, okay. It costs 70, we've got this much. 140, 210, we could do three recipes. Did we get the two Atmo suits done? I think we did. He is a witch? What? Is it refined iron to make steel or is it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's iron as opposed to iron ore. Okay. When Dupe recovers its breath, it actually doesn't consume any oxygen. That's weird. And we've got more of this polluted water finding its way all the way down here. And I was muted. That polluted water just fell down like a snot. <laughs> oh, gross. Alright. I think we're getting control back. Probably. We're still building these pipes and wires. So I think we can turn this on now, right? Get rid of this brine that spilled ages ago. Or it didn't really spill, I, I kind of had this area set up to to manage the brine that was gonna... Really? Okay, how? Oh, I think I see. I think because... the water CF isn't running at night because we're running it off of... um... manual generators? We're not getting rid of the... Because we let the height... We let the throughput get too high here. So it is accumulating to the point where the... Where the toilets won't flush, basically. Probably should have just set it up in the first place so that the toilets always had priority somehow. Again? I was gonna say at least it got cleaned up straight away and then that dripped down from up here. Why 
Why is the water sea have not working? Uh, okay, this needs to be top priority. Apparently we can't get a little sand delivered here so that the entire colony doesn't wet its pants. And the messes continue. I guess the overall throughput of polluted water each day is very low, that's why this wasn't a problem before. And now that we're trying to run this polluted water through it, we're finding out. S. Jones, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have coal power generators? We do, I just haven't built any. Take the algae. Alright, so the toilets work now. Amazing. Food has decayed. We've still got 210,000 calories. Looks like we are... Okay. I wish they would just fill this once as part of the construction job. Deodorizers. Because they need supplies so very rarely. And it always gets built and you forget about it and it turns out no one's supplied it. Disable Atmos suit checkpoint? What for? Maholic, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Maholic, how was your stream today? How did that uh, spaceship go? The victory ship. Um, can they not get here? Is that why we're disabling the checkpoint? I think we have iron elsewhere. Maybe not, come to think of it. Alright, fine. We'll disable this. Stream was pleasant. Thanks. My science is too too bung for that victory ship did an infinite tech card ship infinite tech card ship I think I remember you mentioning this it's like it never stops flying around or something tubes need to get by to get lead yeah it stays in deep space forever interesting so how does that work But you have to set it. Oh, that's right. You have those. Um, you have those cheaty teleport chests, right? What are they called? Arco link chests. Arco link chests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that actually works from a spaceship that's in motion. Have to craft negative two seventy three fluid on the ship, though. Oof. All right, we're getting our salt slush guys are coming through. Cooling the base and ultimately supplying us with oxygen as well. Fantastic. Did we get that steel done? We actually did. How much iron do we have? Oh, well, we're having trouble getting to the iron at the moment. How many runs are you in now? Looks This looks way tidier. Yeah, this is my second one on stream. Um, I got to like two or three hundred days last time. And it's not like we were... Well, I think we were slowly dying because we're like running out of algae and can't sustain the colony on like just electrolysis. 
to overlook any other finite resources, but uh, this time I'm sticking to just eight dupes, at least for quite a while. And yeah, this is much neater. I do already wish, maybe it's not too late. Um, I was going to say I wish I made the main elevator area of the base wider. I went for three tiles, which was going to be ladder, blank, like blank ladder, blank fire pole, blank. Um, but in hindsight, I think I would like to have, well, I've talked about this before. I would like to have a um, heavy watt wire or the later version of it um, going all the way down the middle of the base and have one huge power network. But then we have uh, transformers coming off of it. But for that I would need two tiles on either side of the ladders and fire poles. And that's if I only want a, a thousand kilowatts or a thousand watts. The ugly wire central thing is legit. Yeah. A lot of critters roaming around. They can roam. Oh, we've probably got too many hatches, though. Looking a bit cramped and glum. You're 67. You can be a... You can be a burger now. Um... How old are you? 26? Oh, we have stone hatches. Is that good? Some stone hatches? Exclamation mark? That sounds like it is good. Diet. Sedentary rock, igneous rock, obsidian, granite. Copper. I don't think we're going to be feeding them metal. Do we just get a better ratio of stone of coal from it or something? So like 140 sandstone makes 70 coal. 140 crushed rock, 70 coal. 140 sedimentary, 70 coal. Uh, what if we have stone hatch? 140 makes 70. So what's the big deal? Can eat granite and igneous rocks. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'll have to take a bit of a closer look at that. Uh, for now, we're going to take a little break. Continue with words on string. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
maybe next time. Fake letter? Yeah, the end was fake. Once someone gets the, the longest word, you can deduce which one is fake. Green Mango, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's new. Yeah, it kicks in at like, what, level 7 or 8 or something? Combat scared me for a moment there until I remembered that we have a few hatches extra. Um, why don't we... Why don't we make a hatch omelette as well? Okay. So... If I... If I bring this polluted water in... To the CF 50-50 with the polluted water from the bathrooms. Um, it's only like once a day that we get a burst of polluted water from here, right? So... I'm thinking... I can't really squeeze it through there. I guess we'll have to have a bit of spaghetti mess this way. Ooh. Oh, I like this better, even. I'm gonna do it like this. Get rid of the bridge. We won't need the valve, I think, I hope. And when we do flush, there should be more than enough storage space just in this pipe uh, for the daily flush. And the idea is it'll get prioritized if it's coming this way. Or is that, have I got that backward? Which, which one of these will get prioritized actually? Shouldn't it be 50-50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking before. It'll it'll probably be 50-50, and then we've got the whole day to catch up on that. I think that's how that goes. I, I hope that's how that goes. Can inject polluted water after bathrooms with bridge magic? I don't remember which way the bridges work, with the arbitrary priorities. Is this not... oh, it's not connected. Or I could run this through here, even? I think this should probably be 50-50 here. Oh, we're about to find out. Perfect timing. And by which I mean... The water CF has no power, actually. Um, is it about time we take power from our main plant kind of thing? I need to find... Uh, I need to find room for a for a power transformer is the thing. I could put it on its own power network, sort of. What even is this? It's just a wire bridge connected to a battery, connected to the old desalinator. So it's just the old desalinator, this water CF, and that's it? Get out of here. How about this? We'll just throw our... Uh, our transformer in here for now.
and I'll get rid of the old battery. And of course they would go to bed before I can queue up the rest of it. Bridge can't inject things into pipes if they are full, thus it has lower priority. Okay, what about going into the bridge? Alright, so even though the CF isn't working, we did have room in the pipes for, for one day of flushing. Can we hurry up and get this deconstructed? Do you have all dupes on the same schedule? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Actually, I think we literally do. How is this not getting done? Okay, fine. We'll do it this way. They're still not doing it? What? It's not marked for deconstruction, that's why. How did that happen? That took a surprisingly long time. I'm seriously considering uh, going to the trouble of widening the main shaft so that we have room for transformers on either side of it, even though we've already built this much. It's not that much that we've already built. It, it can be... it can be fixed. Just not right now. And are we actually going to get this done in a reasonable time frame? It could happen. It also means we'd have more room for random storage bins as we expand without having a dedicated storage room. Yeah, I think I like that idea. Commutes would be ever so slightly longer, but who cares? Widening the main shaft sounds courageous. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll have to move. The question that remains is, do we want to leave room for a large power transformer? on the sides. That seems a bit extra. I, I would hope we don't necessarily need more than a thousand watts in a 96 tile room, but I'm sure some of them might. I guess if we had the shafts on either side having two by two, that could be 2,000. 1,000 from each side. It's never going to work out that cleanly, though. Oh, you could actually do, like, 1,000 from each side and use conductive wire. Uh, widening this shaft, though, I feel like it's already too late. So, there's that. Yeah, um, much easier to widen the one that's only touching a few farms and an electric grill. Can we get this powered today before people make a mess again? No? gonna happen, isn't it?
made a mess. There it is. At least it's where we've already got filters in place. And at least we've got uh, the air system set up so that polluted water will, uh, polluted oxygen will find its way to a deodorizer. That's something. Now it works. Maybe I should have made that um, super high priority, like emergency priority. All right, CF is doing its thing. And it is 50-50, which is good enough to get the uh, bathroom water out of the way. And that means we don't have to have a limit on this flow control. Oh. What should we focus on next? Atmo suits. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Deliver power. 240 watts. Um, that's not that much. We've already got this connected. We could... Bring this down here, though. I'd have to fix this wire spaghetti a little bit. There's so much spaghetti to fix. So what's this? Shearing station? We've used that, like, twice. Um, if I move to the critter drop-off, we could just have a heavy watt joint plate here instead of... A transformer. Or we could just not worry about the shearing station for a few minutes. What do we have over here? Some deodorizers that... I won't say they haven't been doing anything. But... It's already set up so the polluted water will find it... Uh, polluted oxygen will find its way up here. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Alright, so we can remove these. We can't really remove the gas filter and gas pump unless we put them somewhere else. Um, I could take... I could take a gas pump, uh, I just add a gas filter to this, and then we wouldn't need this pump. And that could supply out Atmo suits. That makes a lot of sense. Which means we can get rid of this now. And then, what do we have here? Microbe musher, electric grill. Um, how much power is this? 480 plus 120 is 600. And then we got 60, another 300 from these two. That could all be on the same wire. So disconnect this, get rid of the rid of the wire bridge, and just connect this directly. And where are we putting our gas filter? Um, right about here, perhaps. That 
should be fine. It's not going to be the prettiest room where they do their exercise, but it'll work for the moment. Or I could do it this way. That actually makes a ton of sense. When this is over pressure, this will continue through. And we'll output oxygen here, and the rest can just GTFO. So is there no point to having this sweepy now? Oh, there's still granite here. Never mind. That is a lot of granite. Can we get this built, please? Uh, I'll leave that there for the moment, of course. Oh, I didn't even have to build that. Interesting. Alright, so this outputs oxygen. Breathable. Oxygen. And if there should somehow be anything that is not oxygen coming from here all the way out here, uh, it's just going to get thrown back to the atmosphere. We need some power here as well. Isn't that oxygen only pipe? Yes, it is. Uh, over here, this isn't oxygen only, it's hydrogen only goes into the hydrogen generators and anything else comes out to the rest of the base. So theoretically, if we do some maintenance, something else could get in there. So I don't want to deal with that. So why filter? Because it could get contaminated. What's this? We have Espresso Machine. Uh, 480 watts. Recreation room. Pinch a pepper nut. We don't really have those. The delay? Fair enough. I could remove the gas filter, but I would have to put it back if I ever have to open this up again. And I would have to remember that I need to put it back, that I need to filter this. If I ever open this up again. Hmm. If something else gets in here somehow and... And I don't have this filter, we're going to damage the Atmo suit docks. I think it's worth a tiny bit of power. To prevent that from happening. Alright, can we make this a little bit less baguette as well? So we've got... The shearing station is connected to this thing down here. Um... I could just put a transformer in in here. It's not pretty, but well, it's not. 
I could put a transformer over here instead. That might be good. Why are filters so expensive? I couldn't tell you. Uh, we do have oxygen from electrolysis feeding our atmo suits, or they will. Potential load 785 watts. Okay. Let's get rid of these generators. And I'll put this whole thing on a transformer. And I would like... I could put a transformer here and have it go down there. Or we could just move this drop off. I want to top priority this so that I can copy settings from this immediately and queue the rest of this up. How is this taking so long? There we go. Deconstruct. Heavy watt joint plate. And straight through here. Get rid of the existing wire. And just run this down here. Four tiles actually gives us a airflow tile, a heavy watt joint plate, and a door as well. Please mop up that polluted water. This polluted water? I guess we could. Oh. This isn't deleting CO2 because this is chlorine. Uh-oh. Unmopped polluted water plus filtration equals free O2. I guess. It is from the big P crisis. <laughs> oh no. What do we got? Draclet eggs? Sure. And then... Oh, it's already marked for deconstruction. What the hell? No, it's not. Don't need this battery anymore. Wait, what did we deconstruct when we tried to deconstruct this battery? Nothing, I guess? gonna worry too much about the way it looks for now we're just gonna actually connect this wire like so because I want those Atmo suit docks working Oh, did we build this? 
Almost. Obnoxiously close. It's awaiting 26.1 kilograms of copper? What? That doesn't sound like something we're gonna have. We've got 425, never mind. How did this happen? And what am I going to do with this chlorine? Oh, this is just lovely, isn't it? Just let it sink? Let what sink? Oh, the chlorine? I'd have to... Well, the thing is, the CO2 is even heavier. And our carbon skimmer isn't doing a whole lot. Because it's surrounded by chlorine, not CO2. Maybe I should store the chlorine. What other uses do we have for chlorine? Chlorine plus sand makes... Oh, it's consumed by something called Dacious Salt Vine? Puffed Prince turns it into beefs, uh, beach stone. Bleach stone. Interesting. Not sure how I'm going to get a puffed to hang around out there. Rust plus salt makes some chlorine as a byproduct. It doesn't seem like we have a productive use for it, except for how we're already using it to kill the germs in our water. Which are down to double digits, by the way. In some places, anyway. Wait, what? In this corner, 900,000 germs. In this corner, 6,000 germs. In the middle, 480 germs. That's a little weird. But hey, this is where we pump it, so I guess that's probably fine. We have a space hole just saying it could get lost. Yeah, I was just making sh I, I was seriously considering that, but I want to make sure. We do need chlorine for... Is it pinch of pepper? There's at least one plant that wants chlorine specifically, right? Atmosphere chlorine. Balm lily. Body temperature, air pressure. It's actually just... Just heat that the pinch of pepper plant needs. Should we domesticate these? I feel like for the longest time it's better to just... Harvest them. Speaking of which... I never did figure out why they couldn't build a ladder down here earlier. And I guess we would need... something like this as well. What does Balm Lily grow for us? Vitamin concentrations and produces acids similar in molecular makeup. 
Boosting immune system. Is it part of the apothecary recipes? Probably. Bum lily flower. We've got... We could make 78 of these right now. We've got 10 already. I don't think we need to domesticate balm lilies. It'd almost be like a flex if we were domesticating everything. Uh, allergy medication, we don't need anyway. But we could do that without domesticating them. Yeah, I think we're fine. Wasn't there something we needed pinch a pepper nut for? Something good? Besides immuno boosters. Let's see. Pinch. Pinch a pepper nut. Flavorful nut of the pincher pepper plant. Useful in cooking. Is that it? Uh, we should probably be making fried mushrooms. Since we're farming them. Omelette? Raw egg. I don't remember where we got raw eggs from, but I guess we'll make those. Paku fillet. Sure. Frost bun is from sleet wheat grain. We made a few of those earlier. Good food. Okay. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the liquid pump did get made. Amazing. Is the wire connected? Yes, it is. Is the pipe connected? Actually, yes. So both of these two are sort of blocking each other a bit. Oh. Um, how did this happen? Oh. Oh, no. Um, stop everything. This is bypassing any kind of check that we're not full with water. And... And my estimate as to whether we could afford to suck all of this up was extremely inaccurate, apparently. Um, alright. What if... What if I temporarily allowed water to go from our storage to our electrolysis? What then? Can we fit a manual valve about here? Seems good. We would have to get in there somehow. I don't want to have to open this up again. What else can we do? Oh, I could pipe it in here, is what I could do. That's a lot simpler. Can they reach this? I guess we're going to find out. Liquid valve... Right about here. Awaiting delivery... It doesn't say it's unreachable. I think it would just be the ceiling that's unreachable. And we add even more water bridges to the pipe spaghetti.
I could even turn off the desalinator for now. If pea water has normal water on top of it, does it stop off-gassing? Good question. Uh, maybe it does. That's pretty weird. That's very weird. How did this get here? We got printables. Copper ore, I'll take it. They can indeed reach this. Alright, so we're just gonna switch off this liquid valve when we've got some storage space for our water again. And we'll... We'll consume our water that we've got too much of with electrolysis. Seems okay. Let me have a look at people's uh, morale. Where is it? Properties? No. Bio. Skills. Germs. No. Where do we find their morale levels? Or do we have a better view of it somewhere? No, I want to. I want to mouse over and see exactly how their morale is doing. Status, morale, here we go. I see no mention of our... Uh, our park. Was it called? Nature, nature reserve. Good meal, interest skills, great hole. Washroom, duplicant, barracks. Okay. How about Carenza? Nothing about the nature reserve. Evil Pla? Uh, where is it? Morale? Nothing about the nature reserve. Do they have to physically go in there to make it work? And if so... Can we find a way? We have to do this in the morning. swapping them. Sink goes over here. Lavatory goes over here. Sink points left. Copy settings. Can we not copy settings? There it is. And then we need this door pronto. So they should have to walk through the nature uh, nature reserve every time they go to the bathroom. Morale. Nature reserve plus six. 
Okay. Yes, please. I mean, I thought just having it would give, like, a passive bonus, but apparently forcing them to walk through it is the way to go. Can we hurry it up with building the toilets before we get another disaster? They need to pass through it to get the bonus, yeah. Okay. I dare say we'll have a few morale points that we can spend effectively. We can have more skills. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of this shortcut. <laughs> It's fine. We don't need all these natural plants at this point. Let's put a floor here. And how's our power network down here? How is this not powered yet? Because I never connected these. Amazing. Priority, construction, all of it. And there's actually a battery down here as well. I don't think that is quite necessary at this stage. It's just going to be leaking power faster. Actually... Hmm... I'm not going to worry so much about preserving every little bit of power that we've got stored. Oxygen flowing into the Atmosuit dock. Fantastic. Why did we finish one of these but not the other? And where are our Atmosuits? I know we finished them. I queued up two here. Oh, they're right here. Well, that's one of them anyway. There's two. Okay, they're right here. Cool. Fantastic. Now we can re-enable the Atmos suit checkpoint. We can re enable the Atmo suit checkpoint. Oh, it is re enabled. That was. I didn't even see it. Clearance always permitted. Clearance vacancy. Wait, I didn't put this thing in the wrong spot, did I? No, I think we're good. Uh, do I need to prior this? Looks like it. Actually, just make it normal priority, but we'll set it temporarily to top. Uh, why is it still on top? All right. Fantastic. Oh, it is going to take a minute at this rate. Um, could we add this pipe over here? Why doesn't this go through? Oh, because... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, in that case, get rid of these. Add another vent here, and bring this one down here, I think. 
You would think the gas would go back this way, but apparently not. That seems to be more than enough, actually. The gas filter is not going to cost us any power when we're saturated with oxygen in the pipe down here either. So it's not that big of a deal. I thought I saw this was full earlier. Or getting close to it. What happened? Current status full fueled. Oh, is it charging up oxygen for the next time the suit is used? That might be it. Alright, let's try queuing up some... Some jobs to scrub this. And how much temperature protection do these give? Uh, let's see. Atmo suits. That's that's not very helpful. That that's not a lot of information. Okay. Let's see. Status. Carried items none. Properties? Insulation thickness? 20.45... Alright, Atmo suit gives 20 centimeters of insulation thickness. Is that good? I imagine it's good. Not sure what kind of temperature would be okay. We're gonna find out. I am not hearing a single scorching alert. Very good. Okay then. I'll take it. Printing time? Printing time. Uh, we got copper ore or calories. We're down to 135,000 calories. That's actually terrifying. Um, how did... How did we get so net negative on calories that we went from 300,000 to 200,000 to 100,000? I hardly changed anything. Where do I find the... Here we go, summary. Average calorie generation. That looks about the same. Calorie consumption. I think it's about the same. I don't know, maybe we're just right before harvest or something. It's a little scary. I'm sure we've got some glum uh, patches, actually. Let's take the oldest ones. And make burgers. That's not combat. Oh, what are we printing? Uh, I guess we can still do the copper. Alright, can we keep exploring over here now? Now that we're not getting scalded. I guess that means we could rummage this.
grab some diamond while we're at it. Just how hot can we go in the, uh, in the Atmo suit? Keep going over this way. I want to reveal as much of the map as possible with as little effort as possible. Should we commence Operation Widen the Shaft? Probably getting to be about time. Also, I'm sure we could tolerate at least a coal generator or two. How much coal do we have? 54 tons? Okay, yeah, this is a bit overdue. We need a smart battery, though. And should we connect the smart battery to the hydrogen generators? Probably not. We'll always be struggling to have this pay for itself. So I'm not overly concerned about that one. To the point where I would go to the trouble of getting in there again. Oh, the battery's empty. Perfect. Get it. Coal generators. Smart battery. Ideally, we'll go for... Oh. Ideally, we'll go for just one battery, but... Maybe it's not enough. Because the more batteries we have, the more we're paying for just power leakage. Did we get everyone a snazzy suit? I don't think we did. There we go. And we've actually got a spare. Whoops. Do I even need the textile loom at this point? Probably not. We could always rebuild it. And nowhere to go. Oh, all dressed up. I see. Achievement unlocked. Eight duplicants wear non-default clothing. Fantastic. Should we just make a couple more exosuits while we're at it? So we don't have to go out of our way to do it next time. It's 300 kilos of iron. It's really not that much, comparatively. Let's make some iron ore. We'll need it for steel anyway. Temperature's really low here now, so we probably should, regardless. Oh, and automation. Why is this not built yet? Whatever. Automation wire. We'll make it out of lead. 
And what do we connect a manual generator to an automation wire for? I'm curious. Let's try it. Is there a fix for the crafting combinator blueprint if it gets stuck trying to craft belt but doesn't have sticks? I have it... I've set it to craft sticks. Uh, yes. Uh, no mouse. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, most of the time, if you use the anything uh, signal in a decider combinator to separate separate out one signal out of many. Um, the arbitrary order of this signal selection is in a direction that favors you for prerequisites, like how space exploration wants you to make um, stone furnaces into steel furnaces into electric furnaces, but not always. Um, if you want something beyond that for the prioritization, you'll have to basically make a separate sort of circuit. Um, you can use decider combinators to say if, let's say, if iron stick is less than 200 output, negative a million of whatever needs iron sticks, um, the number of combinators that you're going to need. If, if you're going to need one combinator for each separate rule, that adds up pretty quickly. Alternatively, you can have a set of prerequisites and a set of things that depend on prerequisites and basically make it so that you have to have every prerequisite before you try to make anything that needs a prerequisite. Um, it's... It's imperfect either way. You're either going to have a lot of combinators or the logic is going to be a bit dodgy. But if I'm going to, depending on how many things you're going to put on the crafting combinator, uh, on the like Omni crafter, I would probably go for the latter where you have um, where you have a constant combinator or 20 that say these are the prerequisites and we want to have this many of them. And then if we don't have all of these things, do not craft all of these recipes. Easier to craft them somewhere else then? Yeah, especially for the high volume stuff. Um, alternatively and or you can have uh, an Omnicrafter set up whereby you have like six or twelve or however many machines making different recipes simultaneously so that when the prerequisites sort of come after the things that they are prerequisites for uh, in the arbitrary ordering of signals it'll just get put onto a different assembler oh no factorio talks indeed sheep say meh Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we get these construction jobs done today? Been putting off designing an Omni Crafter that automatically crafts prerequisites. It uses a lot of combinators. Yeah. You can set it... You can do it with not too many combinators if you do some not-so-great logic with... Make sure we have all of the prerequisites, then make the things that need prerequisites. Oh, we're going back for more lead, I think. Alright, this should probably be high priority. Hurry up with that automation wire, we're wasting coal. How dare you. I swear there was textile crafting station. Where did it go? I got rid of it. 
we've got everyone wearing clothes and like no like everyone's wearing a snazzy suit right now and if we want protection we've got the atmo suits so i don't really see the need let's get a couple more atmo suits for when we make more docks get ahead of it how about our digging down here? How's that going? It's going okay. Um, could we maybe go up here instead? Seems good. That really is a long commute. Maybe I should find a more direct route. Like through here? Get some more exploring done anyway. Used it and threw it away, bad boy. It was just sitting there. And in the power generator room. Space scanner. Sends a green signal to its automation circuit when it detects... A circuit when it detects incoming objects from space. Can be configured to detect meteor showers or returning space rockets. Yes, please. Look at all this refined metal we have from... Uh, from lead. 50,000. Uh, Lebovsky, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this all automation wired up? Yes, it is. So we're not going to waste coal with this. Fantastic. And what are the default settings here? Low threshold zero. Oh, so the coal generator is only going to kick in if we run out. Let's set it to like 10% and stop if it reaches 90. Coal gen poop CO2 may want better airflow. We've got airflow tiles on either side. Um, besides which, it's heavier than oxygen, so it'll come out through the pneumatic doors. What are these warnings that I'm getting that I don't get to see? How's our research as well? We're about to research... Well, we can't research solid fuel. But we're actually researching space things. Introductory rocketry. That is a little bit ahead of what we're actually building. Um, we could do some art, we could get multiplexing, I'm not too worried about that to be honest. Soda fountain? Water and carbon dioxide, hell yeah, let's get a carbon dioxide sink that improves morale. Crab is murdering someone in bedroom? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, okay, that was terrifying. Pinch row? What is pinch row? What? No database entry available? Is it an egg for a poker shell? Poker shells are non-hostile creatures that blah blah blah. Okay. Pinch row. Why is there no database entry? Get out of here. Thanks up PHL. And once people wake up, let's get them healed. That would have been a disaster. We do have everyone, right? Yeah, we're good. 
Crabs get protective of their eggs. Yeah, I'm not sure how the egg got in there. But... It's fine now. What's going to be the next resource we're running out of? Good question. Because we've... We've built this colony in such a way as to not do what we did last time. Like, oh, we're running out of algae. That's why I've been so slow to start using coal as well. Um, I'm sure there's something, like we could literally run out of dirt and not be able to make food. But again, that's one of the reasons, the main reason, I'm keeping the uh, population low. Can we get a puffed? Is that okay? What does it consume? Polluted oxygen makes slime. Polluted oxygen, chlorine, oxygen makes oxalite. I guess that's not that bad. Maybe it'll clean up our air for us a little bit. Can I open this to let the puffed out? I'm sure it'll figure it out eventually. Free space? Free space. What's going to be the next resource we're running? Oh god. I don't think we're running out of space. He is? Okay. What was it we needed to make the... the Dracos? Oh yeah, I think we needed chlorine in the room that the Dracos are in. So that we can shear them consistently. And it doesn't say that anywhere. But... that's the environment we find them in. We could maybe use this space. It's not too hot over here. We'd need to be able to grow meal wood for them though. We could maybe take a space like this. Hydrogen. Okay. So is that actually like a wiki secret? Or did I somehow miss the information I need in the database? Nope. I see no mention of hydrogen. Oh, we're not letting that polluted water through. Um, can we do that now? Are we running out of water here? Not really. It's taking its sweet time. I did want to expand the water storage here, but we need to get this out of the way first. Oh, and don't tell me, this is low priority. The desalination plant is effectively low priority. Okay, um, in that case... How about... How, how about we try a bridge priority? Why are we bunking? It is on critter scale growth. Critter scale growth. Information. Shearable reed fiber. Hydrogen. There it is. 
hydrogen rich environments. And I'm guessing that I think I remember they don't actually consume the hydrogen. On Shestus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It'll say not in hydrogen. Not with the mouse over. Right. Yeah. Not in hydrogen. Where is this alleged not in hydrogen? You need one tile of hydrogen under the ceiling in the condition tab. Condition? Oh, condition. That's not a tab. That's a... I don't know what to call it, but it's under the status tab. Condition? Health, happiness, reproduction, age, calories, scale growth. Scale growth. The amount of time required. Change per cycle, 0%. Yeah, it's not under condition. They removed it? It's fine. I mean, it's buried in here somewhere. We found it, after all. Alright. We could take hydrogen from our electrolysis. We're just using it for power. Except I would have to get in there. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'd rather just take hydrogen from around, if we can. There's not that much of it, though. Okay, that's a decent amount of hydrogen. And we could dig in here so that it all gets connected. So that all the hydrogen ends up up here. Uh, that seems good, actually. Why is this balm lily not growing? Chlorine, not hydrogen. Uh, I think I would like to try to encourage these natural plants to grow. So if we can bring all the hydrogen to the top, maybe this will be immersed in chlorine. here. Um, we could dig down here. This is already... I should seal this. I can't remember why I came in here. It was probably to take chlorine back when we were making the germ destroyer. What the hell? It's dropping 5,000 germs a tick? What? What just happened? This corner usually has the most germs and it all just disappeared in like four seconds. And there's 1.8 million germs right here? Oh, is it flowing? Is it looking at the liquid reservoir and it flowed out of it? That's probably it? That was weird. But the water itself is like pretty average. Okay. Can we get this built? And we'll start building a room, a proper room for our Drekos. Oh wait, I wanted to widen... I wanted to widen the main artery. 
that's going to be a project and a half. Um, let's start with the obvious. Is it really going to be enough to have room for a regular power transformer on the sides? It's, ha it's going to have to be seven tiles wide. Versus nine tiles wide if we leave room for a large pa uh, power transformer. Nine tiles wide seems a bit much. I mean, five is already seems a little bit much. Maybe I should just learn to make room for the power transformers in the rooms. But they're hideous, right? Decor negative 10. That's only about a, as bad as two tiles of wire, weirdly enough. So this monstrosity is only as ugly to the dupes as two tiles of wire. That's kind of weird. How much power do all these things use? 480 for an exosuit forge. We need more art to cover the wire, apparently. Um, I'd really love to clean up this mess. Hmm. The whole point, uh, the whole point of the Transformers is that we don't need joint plates, though. And what is it? Negative, negative twenty-five tiles, uh, radi uh, negative twenty-five decor per tile, with six tile radius um, cables. Look at that. They absolutely despise the uh, the decor where there's wires and stuff. You'd think the sight of something that's keeping you alive would be agreeable. Do we ever need more than a thousand watts for the stuff that we fit in this much space? I'm gonna hope the answer's no. Alright, let's let's get started. First of all, ladder goes one tile to the right. Oh, that is such a waste of effort we've put up here. Whatever. We'll fix it as we go. At least they don't have to travel far to get this built. Time to move all ugly wire outside the base? Is that even possible? If I mark all this for deconstruction, is it just going to be the... Nope, it's going to deconstruct everything. Which means I have to be careful and click on every single piece of ladder. Is there a shortcut key for deconstruct? Like once we select something? No. I guess not.
I guess we could widen our storage thing a little bit. Get rid of this uh, joint plate. Can I just swap that? No. It's probably going to let a Treco out. goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Bottom right you can select what you want to deconstruct when you drag. What do you mean? Deconstruct, oh okay. So, buildings? Does a ladder count as a building? Deconstruct. Oh, there's even one for cancel. Interesting. Alright, deconstruct. Buildings? Ladder, cancel, deconstruct. Gas pipe is not being deconstructed. Oxygen is not being deconstructed, weirdly enough. I think that's it. Headbanger Boogie. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks, Seth. Don't you have lots of lead? You could use that for prettier Pretty a heavy wire? Heavy what wire? Steel, wolframite, gold amalgam, iron ore, copper. Yeah, no, we can't we can't use lead for this. We can use it for automation wire, weirdly enough. Be careful of transformers with in core base, huge decor negative, and big heat creator. Yeah, that's why I want them in the the main artery, which is hideous anyway. There's other heavy wire. Do you mean the heavy what conductive wire? Huh. You can make this out of lead. Okay. Guess what we're making our thick wire out of from now on. This is the 50 kilowatt stuff as well. Because it's refined metal. Unless we need to worry about the overheat temperature. This is, this is what we're making it out of from now on. 50k lead easy, indeed. Alright, so deconstruct buildings. Get out of here ladders. Get out of here ladders. It's gonna be interesting moving some of these gas pipes. On the plus side widening the uh, what do you call it? Uh, widening the artery. We're gonna have more room for like pipes going back and forth as well. All right, I want this here, this here, this here, this here. We also have more room for random storage bins. Uh, that might need moving a little bit. Let's worry about that a little bit later. Actually, worry about it now because We've got plenty of oxygen in the gas pipes. Let's just remove those for now and we'll start from scratch figuring out where that's going to go. And kind of lucky that we never 
had these farm stations working. We got stickers! Amazing. Melting point of lead is 300 degrees. I think you have bigger problems if your base is over that value. It doesn't have to be melting to take damage from heat, though. Although, if it's just wire, I don't know if... Well, it depends where we're dealing with it. Like, we might not want to use lead for wire where we're doing a steam engine, perhaps, unless it just can't overheat. It doesn't have a value for overheating, so maybe it is just the melting point. Whereas if we're building like a uh, aqua tuna, overheat temperature X, and then we really have to worry about um, the materials we're using. We're still making this iron? That is taking forever. Temperature of the base is looking very good. Alright. Uh, I want to move this over two tiles, I think. Yeah, one tile over on the left side, two tiles over on the right side. Unless we were going to make it nine tiles wide, I feel that might be a little bit excessive. I would certainly hope it's not that necessary. If we need more than a kilowatt in half of a block, I would be a little surprised. And we could always just have a joint plate go through instead. It's probably somewhere the dupes don't have to go very often. Printables? Omelettes? Uh, calories are climbing back towards 200k, so I'm a little less worried than before. Actually, this is pr probably a golden opportunity to redo our farms here, so we're not wasting this vertical space on mealwood. Also, prettier joint plates? Prettier joint plates. As in the heavy what? Decor negative 25, negative 25. Eh? Prettier joint plates. I think... What? That, that's not a joint plate. I think it's always just negative 25. For the base. Decor plus 50%, that's not going to help. If we made it out of gold, lol. Well, oh my goodness, Benwu, look at you go! <laughs> Let's put this on normal speed, or slow speed. Follow can. This is the slowest game speed. Speedy. Leaving a trail of, like, rainbow and pixie farts. It feels like something out of uh, Terraria, actually. I'm a madman, right? There's that tile of gas that had the uh, shine bug stuck forever last time. We don't have a tile that lets gas through but not water, right? I think I said that backwards last time, and someone said, of course there is. Does not obstruct liquid or gas? 
blocks liquid flow without obstructing gas. How is that possible? Well, whatever the case, I'll allow it. Let me just read that really carefully. Airflow tile blocks liquid flow without obstructing gas. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Did we get all of those manual generators out of the picture? Not quite. Alright, why don't we get rid of all of these? That's not how that works. Dig? Dig. Let's get rid of all the trees that are... I feel it like it's a little risky, but you know what? I'm just going to... Okay, first of all, let's plan this out. Where do we actually want the farms to be? And do we want to just not bother with fertilization? For the meal wood, at least? With fertilizer, I mean. It's one less thing we have to produce. D does it mean we're going to pay more dirt for our food? We've got 52 tons of dirt. We're probably not running out of it. Probably. Let's say we make the smallest, the most cramped, the most space efficient mealwood farm. Maximum size for a farm is, I think, 96? Uh, where is it? Greenhouse? Wait, it has to have a farm station to be counted as a greenhouse. But do we gain anything if there's a gr if there's a farm station but no fertilizer? What's the what's the benefit of it being called a greenhouse? Crops grown within a greenhouse can be tended with farm station fertilizer to increase their growth speed. In other words, if there's no fertilizer, it doesn't matter. So... Compact mealwood farms? Question mark? How much? Okay, something here has got to be fertilized, right? Because I saw this was getting used before. Maybe we've run out. I don't know where we've been getting our fertilizer. Um, it doesn't seem to say, or at least I don't know where to look. Reduces micronutrient fertilizer to increase plant growth rates. By how much? For how much? I need spreadsheets, honestly. To know if this is worth the trouble, at least at this stage. Farmer's touch growth speed double? Serious? Growth speed double. It does take farmer labor as well to make that happen, but still. Um, that is so much more than I was expecting. Good grief. Uh, I guess we should leave room for farm stations in that case. But not four tiles. Okay, so in that case... 
if our if our main bus, if our artery, if our spine is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. This is going to be here. Uh, our airflow tile should be here, and our farm station should go here. It's only two by three. And then these farm tiles should go down here. Let's remove those two. Mealwood was not in the list. Was it not? Huh. Okay, that helps. That definitely helps. Mealwood. So if we click on another plant, dust cap, does it give us fertilization? It information here? Or is it just... doesn't look like it. Let's just have one more look at this. Arbitrary, grass, gas, grass, dust cap, sleet, nosh, thimble, bum, pincher, waterweed, da dasher, bristle, bristle blossom. Yeah. Okay then. So mealwood should just be as compact as possible. And we don't need an airflow tile because we've got the pneumatic door. Mealwood only needs some dirt, it does not even need farm plots. Yeah. Okay then. Um, I'll risk removing this row, and we'll leave that one growing for a bit. going to take a little while. Uh, and the... What is it? 96 tiles. This is going to be moved over two tiles as well. So that it's in line with whatever other blocks we make later. see how this fits. Um, I kind of like to have the critter rooms sort of side by side. I should probably have them less central because we don't see that much foot traffic having to go to them. But I don't really have a place to put them right now. If we are going to make a proper Draco room, we're going to have to make these silly uh, airlocks again. Oh, I removed that when I didn't need to, didn't I? Oh well. This will go here. I do wish it would let you queue up more before things are actually done. Can 
środki serii. I was gonna say we should think about growing some other stuff, but I do want to make sure we have way more than enough meal wood right about here before we think about other plants. We do have our dusk caps. Haven't made that much more room for them yet, though, mainly because of the heat. Takes a surprisingly long time to dismantle the farm tiles. And if this is our new spot for the ladder, then our new spot for the fire pole is going to be here. And I'll have storage bins whenever we don't need a transformer or something. I guess there's no need for doors here, now that I look at it. Since there's no bonus called a storage room. Oh yeah, skills. How's everyone's morale? Wow. Oh wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Who's worse? Uh, Karen's is worst off with only plus four at the moment. We could even go into exosuit training. Um... Was it Ben Wu who's super fast? I think it was. Ooh. Rocket piloting? Rocket navigation? Ben Wu? 10%, plus 10% piloting. Command capsule usage. I'm not seeing any practical applications for the moment. But it's cool to have regardless. And we still have, uh, seven spare morale. We could do more carrying, I guess. We've maxed out strength, right? And we've maxed out athletics from the skills anyway. We could add some carrying capacity. So Ben Wu is a research, a, a, a perfectly good researcher and also an absolute machine at, oh, you can mouse over it here. Machinery is 23, athletics 24, science 14, strength 11, construction negative 2, good job. Um... Yeah, an absolute machine for hauling and good at doing science. And also there's machinery, which I guess is running the uh, treadmills and stuff. What else have we got? Uh, what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 12. I thought my math was off for a second there. 12 morale available for cabin. Definitely suit wearing. As cabin keeps going downstairs anyway. So we've got more athletics. Uh, less exosuit penalty. Athletic science guy, indeed. I think this will probably be fine. Uh, we could do more strength, I guess, but let's keep our comfortable... You know what, this is just one for two strength, why not? Ben Wu, we've got, like, 
five morale spare still. I think I'd like to keep it that way. Let's let's keep a a buffer of five morale just in case. Uh, so cavern is much more movement, more strength, builder and digger. Uh, we can go max construction on evil plot. Still got 10 morale spare. Movement is good on a builder as well. That's still a five remaining. Carenza is only plus four. I might keep Carenza where Carenza is for now. Morale needed 14, skills learned plus 14. Grizzly meal is the only downside lately. Last cycle's decor, decor ugly. Terrible meal, zero. I'm not seeing any red flags in the morales. Uh, we could go for art on Matrim. Masterworks, we've still got 10 remaining. Um... Do we, I, we don't need that many people super good at, like, exosuit wearing, right? But um, if we're doing building, and farming for that matter, to, to a lesser extent farming, uh, a bit more movement speed would be nice. So we've got seven remaining. Oh, and you've got no skill points left. You're like the only one, actually. Uh, Sloda. Sloda is plus 16. Wow. Digger. Athletics good. Carrying capacity good. We've still got eight remaining. Probably leave it there for now. Veldek. Veldek has 21 points available. Astronomy. Veldek is not into being a pilot. Uh, so we're, we got our researcher, gorilla, doctor. I'm not as worried about movement speed for Veldek. But what else are we going to spend it on? Just making Veldak, like, bad at digging slightly less. Machinery is like uh, manual generators and using machines and stuff, right? Veldak's got enough important jobs. I think we just keep going, like, athletics and strength as the spare skills. Farmers? I wish I could see a summary of what Veldak did the last day or a few days or something. I think every time I see him, he's grilling. I think we can't go wrong with athletics, honestly. Getting from point A to point B faster. And Veldek's actually out of skill points now with a million morale left. And then we've got Whiskers. Uh, Whiskers has already done everything he's passionate about. I guess we go more carrying. Oh, more athletics, definitely. And we've still got seven points. Uh, this seems good. 
Alright, we just got quite a lot of upgrades on everyone. How's our digging going down here? Oh, quite well, actually. Somewhat. This is unreachable? How's it unreachable? Oh, I see. I think you might have Carenza stuck in the new farm area for a bit. Uh, possibly. Jumped down to start building and trapped himself. <laughs> yeah, and he's got a full bladder. Oh, good. Lovely. Um, let's... Let's maybe do something about that. Priority. Construction. All of it. Wait, is that... No. Wait, this doesn't go here. The next one's gonna be... here. The floor's gonna be here. Oops, that's fine. As long as they can jump across. Uh, now that I look at it, they won't be able to climb up either. Just put a ladder here and hurry up about it. Gonna fertilize this new farm? Yeah, that's not actually great for plants. Oh no, there it goes. And he woke up in a pool of his own polluted water. Unfortunate. And we probably stopped here because of temperature. Temperature is actually quite good here. Nice. If you don't know what that is, you'll need it at some point in the future. Emergency settings top left. As in red alert? I've used yellow alert. Red alert, indeed. Ignoring schedules and their basic needs. Copy settings. And get rid of these floors. Get some poles over here. Forces them to work, yep. Oh, it wakes them up as well. So this should be tiles. I don't know why it itches for such a long time when I do something like copy building. You'd think it would keep that in memory. Copy settings. We could add some decor, but like, it's probably just a lost cause, right? The, uh, the main bus is. Right now, please. Yes. Um, are they stuck? They shouldn't be stuck. 
move to here. I think they're stuck. Can they not jump to the pole? Oh, there's a... There's a bit of sand. Well, there's your problem. Harvest ready. Fantastic. Copy these over here. Need to dig a piece. Yep. actually be able to put these transformers somewhere that makes sense. Why are they idle? Sopping wet. Oh, they're socializing. Dope. It's that time of day. Speaking of that time, it's probably time I take a little break shortly. Let's finish this farm first. Or most of it. Bonus, we'll be able to fit under here without dealing with that polluted water yet. goes here. Is that enough farm? It's probably enough farm, right? storage either. So why mealwood? Because it's easy. This is our staple. We can work on more complicated things while we've got a steady supply. Three mushrooms. Fantastic. Okay, I'm thinking uh, it, it's one tile off of lining up with the uh, patches habitat. Feels bad. But I'm thinking we put the uh, the Draco home here. We're acting probably a bit late for this, but no place for lights in your farms. Yeah, Mealwood doesn't need it. Uh, I think it's only bristle blossoms that need light, as far as I know. But we're going to have different rooms for different plants. Like, uh, dust caps here need carbon dioxide, so just in case down to here is oxygen, we've got the door at the top so that the carbon dioxide falls down to this tile. Okay, no worries. Kaki, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not familiar with Oni. Is the eventual goal to get more and more dupes, or is there some optimum amount? Uh, it's less about getting dupes, I think, and more like reaching complete stability and building rockets and going to explore other places. Yeah, first things first, it's about survival. And then it's about the... the higher things that you can do once survival has been assured. There's also a lot of little engineering problems to solve, like 
building a steam engine in Factorio is like just a couple of buildings, right? Uh, building a steam engine that works in oxygen not included is kind of a nightmare, actually. Only is about polluted water management, <laughs> right? Bristle Blossom is easy too. We'll get there. One thing at a time. Soda Fountain. I actually wanted to try this. We could make this the rec room. It's nice and central-ish. Uh, where was it? Soda Fountain? Does this go in the rec room? I don't think so. Refreshments for duplicants on their breaks. Isn't that the same as the cooler? During downtime. Rec room. Rec room. Rec room. Carbon dioxide, a thousand grams. Water, five kilograms. That is... And it gives them morale. And plus one science? How does that work? Plus 10 decor. Well, whatever the case, um, these are the kinds of things I want to experiment with next. Arcade cabinet takes 1.2 kilowatts. That seems expensive. Morale plus three, though. We get four morale out of this, and it only takes 480 watts. And they probably don't have to use it for anywhere near as long. Comet Kablamo. Jukebox is 960 watts. Plus two morale. So, if we stack all these things in a rec room that they visit, do they just get a million morale? You need to bottle CO2 for that soda thing to work? We can do that. So you just set your own goals. Yeah, basically. Science equals soda and Mentos. Okay. <laughs> Data gnome. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's finish our farm. And then we'll do some words on stream. And... Surely four rows of this is enough for eight tubes, right? And thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Two months. Thank you so much. The morale boost from Decor is based on their daily average. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I meant uh, not the Decor, but if you look at this, it says Recreation Morale plus four. Athletics plus one. Nice. From from coffee. Uh, arcade cabinet, recreation, morale plus three. Soda fountain, morale plus four. Science plus one. As someone who works in the science department of, of a school, I can confirm this. So I'm guessing it's science like the skill, right? Um, kind of like athletics plus one. Science 14. Having dupes running around with 50 plus morale. All the stuff stacks. Fantastic. We're going to have the most ecstatic dupes. We're going to have dupes so happy that if half of them die right before their eyes, they're just going to be, this is fine. Because that's how morale works. What happened to our polluted water up here? We stopped it. Okay. Did we set up our priority thing? I think so. Oh yeah, we were out of storage space for water itself. And... I don't really have a way to deal with that. Wait, there's a little bit of polluted water? Oh, that's from down here. That's right, I was just going to manually let the electrolysis consume our water for a while. But it's actually taking a really surprisingly long time. 
to go through that. Maybe we should make another storage area somewhere else. Our polluted water storage area over here is bigger than I realized now. Um, we could maybe just... I mean, why doesn't... Why, why does... Why does it need to not go over here? We could... We could take advantage of this. Why not? Let's just pump it straight in here. Seems good. And I'll get rid of this. Pipe it over here. It's not gonna... No, that'll be fine. That should be fine. Alright, let's allow the water through. Should have done this before. Oh, there's no way the dupes can get across that. Need to make a big swimming pool to store clean water in? Yeah, I wanted to make this bigger sooner, but we've got some stuff in our way. Alright, there it goes. Why is this still not getting planted? Kind of weird. Alright, we'll make this our... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Our Draco room, eventually? We'll need a bit more room... I can't remember if it turned out this was as compact as we could make our water airlock or not. Um, it's probably something like this. In which case, we would still need just as much height. So, three tiles high, I think. But we want four tiles high so that we can have a stable that says it's... 96 tiles so that we can have as many critters in there as possible without them feeling what's the word I'm looking for? Glum. So it's going to be something like like this. And we'll probably have the door up the top and then I don't know um just water in here. But to get it there, we're going to need a bottle emptier. Can we build that there? No, we can't. Just like this. I think that's what we're going to go for. Can we possibly get more space efficient than this? We're going to be missing out on how many tiles? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I don't want to do it on both sides because it'll make the, the room smaller for the Dracos. Could we maybe use up this extra space we have here that we normally save for power transformers? We'll need a power transformer to deal with the shearing station, but we could put it on the other side just once. So maybe 
if that's the ceiling. Let's do it like this. And then... It's going to cost like four tiles in the 96 tile space. So surely that's going to cost us like one critter at most for how many we can fit before they're unhappy. That should be fine. There's an abundance of vertical space for this. Um, it's really just the horizontal space that I don't think... I don't think we can get smaller than this. Pretty sure. Unless... There'd be like two tiles of water like this. I think the dupes can get through that. So how would it look here? What was the difference? It would be like this, I th think. Basically. Except, isn't it going to be harder to set up? Probably. We can try. Need to make a big swimming pool to still clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, let's do some words on stream, and we'll come back to this shortly. Uh, words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. One more. One more. Fantastic, I assume. Yes, fantastic. Alright, nicely done. Let's continue with uh, Oni. And see if we can't find the most space-efficient version of this uh, water airlock. Or fluid airlock. Let's crank the priority on this. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence? Who is fantastic? You are fantastic. Nailing words on stream. Uh, I don't think there's any more polluted air here. Let's get rid of that. I guess we're waiting until tomorrow until we build this. I don't know if the dupes need a tile to stand on here for the bottle emptier, and I'd like to find out. Or I don't know if it counts that they can stand on a fire pole. I guess they can. So this should be fine either way. And we want, uh, we want water, and we want enable auto bottle, which means they'll take water from a pitcher pump if necessary. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not all liquids. That would be bad. Uh, enable auto bottle. You could probably use the pole anyway. Yeah, for the sake of science, of course. So I'm hoping to find out this is the minimum space we need to make this work. Because then we've got um, actually more than 96 tiles. Can I put like a door here so it doesn't complain the room is too big? Uh, and I need this done today.
Back to 190,000 calories. Seems good. Why is the water overflowing? <laughs> um, alright. Are we turning this off already? Uh-oh. Okay, this... This shape might not work, actually. I don't understand why this tile only has... 68.5 kilos of water. Whereas a regular tile can have a thousand. Door interfered? How did the door interfere? I don't know if it did. Water needs to stick to the ceiling. Oh. Oh, it just changed the... Unless it was a big coincidence in timing. It just changed the way this works. The second we got rid of the door... No? Okay, we do need the three tiles wide. I'm pretty sure. So we're just going to have to sacrifice a little bit of size for this room. In which case, this is going here, I think. Is that right? No. Um, let's just mop this up. Oh, the water's being really weird now. Deconstruct this. And this as well, probably. And then... We need these three tiles wide, right? I think. It doesn't count this as its own room, does it? Well, this is a room, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we have a pneumatic door here, will it count that as the edge of the room? And... I guess that the room will be two tiles, or at least one tile smaller. Probably. I always bottle from the other side, I don't know, okay. Um, so we want this here. I think it has to start in the middle like that. And we'll put a mesh tile like so. I'll be interested to see if the water globs the same way with a pneumatic door in the same space. And liquid, water... Auto bottle, max priority. Not try to door within a liquid airlock, yeah. We're doing science now. Is someone gonna bring the water? Do I need to make it top priority? It looks like... I don't know why the water seems to be biased to this side. And we're back to sleep. Did that puffed get out? It did. Good puffed. I guess we can change this back to auto. Not that there's any reason for it to ever be closed, to be honest. How many hatchling eggs do we have? Too many? Oh, what? Uh, it was one... Oh, those are stone hatchling eggs. Two. 
we can probably wait on those a bit. I want to get some automation going that will control the population um, so that they're never glum. And we'll make omelettes or burgers. Why is this not happening? Auto bottle on, water, errands, Carenza, current errand, it just disappeared. Alright, whiskers is on the case. It should only take a few bottles to make this work. I don't understand why it's sticking to the left, though. Here comes Carenza. Here comes printing. Uh, we'll take some brine, sure. That's ultimately oxygen. How much water do we have here? Uh, 450... Plus 450. So we need like 3,000 and a bit. So we need like seven trips to the bottle emptier, I think. Let's take it off of yellow alert. That's going to drive me crazy. Wait, what? I said take it off of yellow alert. Okay. This is really the only use case I can think of where we care that much about room size, right? That we would try putting the pneumatic door in the middle. the technical number of tiles that we have for the room is going to determine how many uh, how many critters we can have before they're unhappy. Five hundred and sixty-six kilos of water... So if water is one kilogram per liter, it's telling me every tile is a thousand liters of water. And when the dupes have a drink, it's five thousand liters of water. Just how big are the dupes? They're supposed to be cute little things, right? Going by the law. But going by the scale of all the amounts of materials we see everywhere. Something is not adding up. Also, I really didn't think it would take three in-game days to put this water here. Is it working the lock? Check water amount in working lock to what you have. Yeah, it's a uh, thousand kilograms per tile for these three. Down the bottom. And then it's just an amount of water in this tile uh, to make it work. So we need 3,000 and a bit uh, water to be delivered. I should probably just set up two bottle emptiers to be honest. Um, but we're getting there. We're up to almost 700. Just under 700 for each three tiles here. It just needs to be slightly over a thousand. 766. So at this rate... Um... It's going to take four more trips. 
sweep that? Sweep what? This? We don't have a place to put a shove of vol egg. And that problem will sort itself out. Or we could eat it, I guess. But don't we want a shove vol? I can't remember why. But they're supposed to be very helpful. Below your farm, above the egg cracker? Oh, this water? Eight hundred ninety-nine. This will be like nine hundred and sixty-five, I think. Kilos of water. Nine sixty-six. So one more trip should get it up to what we need. Why do we? Oh, because they're sweeping. They're delivering really small amounts of water. I think this is it. Yep. And we overfilled it. Which is fine. The main thing is it'll be able to keep gas in. And then we want 96 tiles over here. Um, just to save on... It looks like this is working. So it's actually going to be 94 tiles in total if we were to have the airlock on each side. Um, I can probably live with that, actually. So we'll put this here and a couple of mesh tiles. And we'll do the uh, we'll do the bottle emptier on both sides, just so it doesn't take literally days this time. But before we do, why don't we just bring this uh, bring this polluted water down here? Keep door opened. Uh, we want to keep the Drekos in when we do move them there, so I think we'll... I think we'll keep it closed. I could also... No, I couldn't. I was thinking I could fit, like, the power transformer sitting on some tiles here, but there's not, like, a tile that that'll support that, that the uh, dupes can move through. Oh, that's a surprising amount of water that fell down there. How's our exploration going over here? Hello. Oh, and we dug this? Yeah, we should be able to rummage this now. Since they'll be wearing the uh, Atmo suits, they shouldn't get hurt going in here. What's this? Automation wire bridge. Oh, right. It's just a bit hidden. But you have plenty Dracos in nature plus hydrogen. Takes longer, but they should supply you. Uh, we don't have the shiny Dracos that we got by domesticating them in the wild. The uh, glossy Dracos. I think they give us plastic without bothering with the whole plastic production chain. Well, I guess it's a different plastic production chain, but it's very easy. Oh, we got a neural vacillator. Uh, yes, please. I'll be... Uh, I will gladly have all of that. Um, how about we go down this way, get that lead. Get all of that lead, actually. And over here. Fantastic. Should probably dig out some diamond so it's just there if we ever want it. 
I think we already do have some diamond lying around though. Yeah, here it is. Uh, anyway, I just realized we've gone a little bit over time for today. So we'll save it there. And let's see who is streaming Oxygen Not Included. We got Jess Jack. It's not many people today. I've ready to Jess Jack a few times. Uh, how about we go for... Chill vibes surviving with my little dupes. Sounds good. Let's make sure we can chat in there. Not falling for that again. Thanks for the stream. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Take care, Whiskers. Nice overtime. Gave me Logibots in my K2 game. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. We'll continue only tomorrow at the same time. Unless I get hit by a truck or something. Uh, and then after that we'll be doing... Uh, K2 plus SE Factorio for the next two days. In the meantime, if you're looking for more Oni, let's drop in on... Uh, that's my emote. I don't want to copy-paste that into the raid command. There we go. A little birdie. Alright, take care guys. Thanks for hanging out. Once these are all finished, all right. uh... hey, it's Rhinosaurus Hacks. Thank you very much for the raid, my good sir. <laughs>